Wait, wait, it's the order. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, we're here. We're, we're here. Here. Up. here. we go. We're you here. You screwed up. I did you screw screwed up. So oh, apparently fine. you guys liked that video that we did. That was really fun. Hi, good morning. <laughs> that was hilarious. Happy December. Um, happy, happy December the 3rd. The 3rd, right? 3rd, yes. Okay. Hello, hello. We got a tree wow. up. It looks so cute behind us. The tree is up. And our that's my calendar's up over there. That way. <laughs> that's my right, advent. Right there. Peggy just stole candy from it. I want you to know. I stole candy mm -hmm. from it. I mean, I stole candy from it first, but then you stole candy. It's your it. advent calendar. I haven't had any candy from it yet. Yep. There's a there's a little pocket at the very bottom for December 25th, and it's packed full of candy, so we stole a couple candy. Yep, I got to scooch that over towards you. There we go. Now Let's we're see. more centered. It looks right there. Okay. Yeah. It is pretty. It's all yeah. pink ornaments. Emperor's New Tarot for 2023 deck of the year. I'm calling it. Oh, yeah. That, yes. was, that was an awesome deck. So creative. Much wow. Oh, I didn't turn on the lights behind us. That's okay. It looks nice like that. It looks nice um, like that. It looks fine. It's the same exact amount of pink. I think it's the, just where it's located. The tree is cute. Don't look at the floor level, though, because it's sitting in front of a heater. So we have the skirt just kind of like pushed forward. and Yeah. <laughs> I was so good. Yeah, we didn't even think. I looked to make sure I wasn't crazy. We didn't even think because there's a couple of decks that are like white on white and really, really pale. And it's like, yeah. oh, shit. We didn't even realize that that could be a thing until people started leaving comments. Yeah, there. a couple of people were like, I've got vision problems. And I'm like, oh, my God. We're the worst. Holy shit. Like, we're horrible people. We're terrible. But it was um, really, really, really fun. Um, we could, we should, we, well, coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? Holding out until April 1st, though, we wouldn't have been able to hold it together that long. No. No. And the idea came up kind of organically. It yeah. was all Peggy. Oh. Y'all know it was Peggy. Like, there's no responsibility yeah. <laughs> really uh, for that. After that freaking blank one from Los, Los Scarabeo, Los Scarabeo, it was like. And we had no, to. No. <laughs> we had to. But it actually I was Because I was quality. joking about that. I was saying, I, I forget when and where I was saying it, whether it was on a live or after a live. And I said, like, you know. A set, of, a set of Blake cards is what, like 10 bucks? And they are like 10 bucks. They were like 10 exactly. Like 9 like, Let's go get one. I have a very full cup of coffee that I'm so hello. To spill. It, yeah. I'm going to slurp it too. I'm sorry. It's really full and it's hot at the same time. Oh, see, look, your hickey barely shows up. You're the worst. Oh, that's what makeup is for, babe. Oh. She was so hoping I wouldn't think to cover it up. And then she could come in here and be like, and she did anyway. She Lisa found a has way. a hickey. Look who's proud of herself. Oh, my I'm God. I'm proud of that I gave her a hickey. <laughs> Unfortunately, we were just standing in the kitchen. I'm like, let me give you a hickey. She's like, no, you you always make it hurt when you give me a hickey. And I was like, I won't, I won't. And I didn't. And it was hilarious. And then I, and then, and then it was like, um, we're going live in the morning. Peggy is a perpetual 15-year-old is what we're learning. 17 year old. Oh, Lexi says we have to do something bigger for April Fools. The funny thing about April Fools, I'm I, I'm probably gonna sound like a party pooper, but I feel like April party Fools, pooper. because I can be kind of naive, I feel like practical jokes, I'm always very sensitive about like not making people feel bad or dumb. And sometimes April Fools can actually throw people for legitimate loops. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that Peggy likes to do that. She's I, I yeah i yeah i'm way too i mean i can't be entirely sad that like we've been married for 17 years and she still wants to leave a hickey on me so like whatever like i'm gonna go with it hey, but i just want i just have the hickey because i wanted to leave a hickey that's it's always like, how it goes that's true that's how that's why most people do it babe. you get you get better hickeys if you're just focused on the hickey yeah look, look at her. She's, where she's, is it, where is it? It's, it's right it's, it's very, right there it's very covered up there, like, there. Become... so the, that little teeny tiny line that's a hickey she put, makeup, um, she put makeup on it and hope was hoping that I would be decent enough not to bring it up. I probably just had my head down, Dustin, because we were I was working on my computer while we were talking. Anyways. Yeah. Go back and look if you have the if you saved it. Wow, Lisa babe. has a hickey. Are you quite through? Are you quite it finished? Was a good hickey. Yeah, it was great, babe. Now can we focus on the live stream? I'm focused on the live stream. I'm sharing information. What have you been up to lately? Well, Learning how to give better hickeys. All because I basically told you you don't know how to do it without it hurting, and you're like, challenge accepted. You know why? Because if I try to give her a hickey, she puts up a fight, so I got to argue. What are you doing? I have to get in there and start this hearing is way things. more information than our audience needs right now. What? Just so you know. What? I gave you what a hickey. What? Okay, so if you say hickey one more time, I'm like, hickey. Stop. Stop. I are you about to have a drink? Are you about to have Stop. Stop. What? Stop. Stop. What? Stop. 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 I'm going to have to kill you. Just stop. <laughs> Holy crap. Apparently, Lisa's having a bit of a problem today. I'm grateful for our marriage. I'm grateful for our connection. I am 
marginally grateful for your immaturity and otherwise i'm just trying to move along okay anyways you're grateful for I love, how you, I love how you start bragging about the fact that you gave me a hickey and we get when we get this shit what what <laughs> y'all have low standards <laughs> You just pissed off about the hickey. I pissed off that you did all this work to cover it, and you like made it a mission. Yeah, point see, out anyway. early ritual. You can start a divination practice reading hickeys. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody change the subject, please. Let me just give you a big ass hickey, and then I'll tell you what it means. It I means don't want you... a hickey on my ass. Thank you. No, I said a big ass hickey. Right. Not an I heard ass what you hickey. said. Yeah, a big ass hickey. Do you I want heard... an ass hickey? No, I just that. I don't... Okay, can we? Stop? I can give you an ass hickey, <laughs> but we really. That's not going to happen just Somebody hanging around me. in the kitchen, chit chatting over stuff that we're waiting for. Tell us to what's up for y'all. What have you been up what's to? New? Please, God, somebody change the Anybody stuff. else have a hickey this week? Oh my God. I hate you so much. No, I hate you more than I, I, I've ever hated you. You said you were me. marginally grateful for my lack marginally, of maturity. Yes, marginally. You'd be grateful. Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways. <sighs> Listen, we we it's been a little boring over here. Okay, no, we're making well. That's I got a sneak peek for you guys. A sneak. What are you going to sneak peek? Why do you? Oh, careful! No, 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 no! Stop, stop, stop! It's I got to stand up. Oh my god, she like moved everything and it was all hooked. I do love her. Um, sure, we always do something here at the house. I like to do stockings. That's my big thing. We otherwise we just focus on spending time together, which is nice. This is a preview. This is what Peggy is and I are working on. This is where I'm, this is this is a preview of John's birthday. I've done a lot of this. Present. Excuse me, I've done a lot of this sewing myself. Yeah, Lisa, I made I made the strips. Lisa's been the one sewing them all I've together. I've been sewing it all that's together. The, that's the that's that's the design I I did. Yep. We just had to have to early add, ritual. Stop. What the hell? We just have to add everything else, and then like. like oh my God, God Barb. Classic Greece quote: If you know, you know. Okay, what did I miss? A hickey from Kaniki is like a Hallmark card. Do you remember that quote from Greece? Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna pull that back in? Because I had the I had the thing all hooked on it and stuff. You messed it all up. Do you, is there anything else you would like to show the internet? No, I just want to. I've been talking. I've been talking. I've been talking about how I'm making uh, at least one quilt this winter. Yeah. And that's I'm I just gotta finish the top, mm -hmm. and then stack it up and make what's called a quilt sandwich. And yeah. So, if we do it, if I if we do it right, then we may have it done. And Ooh, I'll, have it, I'll have it. I'll have the top finished and everything measured and connected together. Yeah. By the end of this evening, then it's just like do the do the do the quilting and then yeah. I'm yep. hoping to have it done by tomorrow. Yep, it should be good. It'll do be you done. want your? I'm fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. I was just giving her time. Okay. Um, any new sad videos coming? I wanted magical do... Monday here. I was glad that I was just in the middle. Just real quick. Um, the I'm probably going to do another member video with another one in the future. I want to work on a flying ointment one, um, but I'm still prepping for that. But in the meantime, we're still doing our magical um, elemental magic series. And I'm sorry, you were going to respond to Magical Monday and Tarot? I don't know. I'm oh, so glad my, my husband isn't listening to this. Yeah, because is he going to get ideas and give you hickeys? Yeah, he would be like challenge accepted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hickeys are a thing. Yeah. Um, Lexi says, I've always wanted to uh, make a quilt with band tees. That's really easy. You just decide on the size. Yeah, and just cut, cut them out, out. Cut out the logos. Sew them together. And then do the quilt as you go. Either so, either just sew them all together and do a quilt top, or do the quilt, quilt as you go is the easiest way to do band, to do t-shirts. Hi, Trisha. Yeah, things, I've seen people do that with, like, either travel shirts or, um, yeah. yeah, like, band shirts. Yeah. Yeah, Quilt as you go is a great way to do it, though, because you can just do one at a time, and then when you have enough, you just stitch them all Quilt together. as you go is so much easier. So much. Do you yeah. have a whole video on your channel about your quilt as you go? I thought I did. I don't think I do. I keep saying I'm going to do a proper video on quilt as you go. You should do one on, like, a basic one without pieced squares, but just, like, solid squares, the really simplest way to do it. Yeah. And just show your method, because your method's so easy, and I feel like... Yeah, it's super easy. You can even do it on the most... You did your first quilt as you well, go my, on, on that singer simple. The, oh, yeah. The, my, my, my big my quilt. quilt. My quilt as you go method is super super simple and if it's a little wonky it's fine awesome. it's supposed to be that way i love this my husband and i are doing five, five different advent, advent calendars this wow. year it's like christmas every day i love that advent calendars are so fun i have to like peggy 
make Peggy and I helped make this one here that's hanging, mm -hmm. um, which is great because it's reusable. It's I designed fabric. that one. That was that that one was a do-it-yourself. It was all from scratch, but I still ogle all the other advent calendars every year, especially all the toy yeah. ones, like well, this, the ever, Lego one and the. If you ever found one that you really wanted, we would probably just get Playmobil. It. We don't and we don't have to put that up every single year. Yeah, I but, do. Uh, but yeah. like that could be the basic candy one, and then I feel like I could also layer like a toy one on top of it. That'd be fun. Um. Yeah, Ray. Rachel Ray says I'd love that video on your quilt as you go. You really should. I think she was talking about how to make an American quilt. I know. I was just talking about how video. you should do one on your basic. I need to do. A, I need. I need to do a video on how to do that. What I need to do. The best way for me to do a video like that is to actually. Usually, I just set up the camera and fuck around for my channel, right? Yeah. What I need to do. What I need to do is a proper video doing quilt as you go mm -hmm. with you holding the camera, and getting the angles and do a really good actually putting effort into it because there's a there's a lot of it's really Hi, it's really really it's really 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 simple to do the quilt as you go method even if you don't have any fucking quilting experience yeah but there's a few things that you need to know and then you're good to go what do you mean you're winning advent calendar andy what do you mean you have a you have a winning advent calendar up from last year what does that mean it means they have <laughs> i'm nosy i know but what does it mean that it won Hi, Wandering Witch. Welcome to the live stream. We are, by the way, it's not up on my coming up in December post, but Peggy and I are planning to go live on, I think I put a pinned comment underneath, but Peggy and I are planning to go live on Saturday, December 23rd also. So we'll have a holiday live stream. And, oh, wait, is is John making it over Christmas Day? Or yeah. Is he, he is making it Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, so we'll do our holiday live on the Saturday before. We weren't sure if we were having Christmas on Christmas Day or the day before the day after. So I guess yeah. we're not doing that. Now he's going to be over on Christmas Day. Oh, I won the guy at one. Oh, God. I'm so dumb. Oh, that one. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot. I was just like, what do you mean winning? What are you talking we, about? Oh, yeah. We gave one away. Oh, we gave one away. Last year. Last Tell year. us what you put in it. Well, we made this last ideas. year. We made two. One for us and one for one a giveaway. One for a giveaway. I totally forgot. That's so fun. Yeah. We give away a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Holiday shenanigans for real. I just think it's fun to hang out and just chat with y'all and see what everybody's up to. And the 23rd is your wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. Tarot says, Tarot Destiny says, you could teach how to sew classes and charge money to attend, like sewing one on one. You know what? I just do it on my channel, and that's yeah. fine. You like and just sharing your knowledge. most of the time on my most of the time on my channel. I'm just here's what I'm doing, and if it, it tips and ideas rather than a particular thing. You know but, what would be fun is to do like you know how I haven't done one for a long time. I should do another one actually, but you know how I do the um, tarot troubleshooting the tarot like live streams where I just answer people's questions about tarot. You could do the same thing with sewing. I've done, like do I've a, done, a Q &A. I've, I've done lives. I've done like lives. A, like a live tr sewing troubleshooting. I did one. I did one live because oh. you know I can only do them as I have time That's for them. That's so smart. Why did I not think of that? What? Look what Andy does. I asked her what she puts in her advent calendar. Little tarot cards to pull one each I day. I suggested that to you, and you. Why did I not remember? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I said you get one. Get oh, because I don't think you had any decks that were small enough to fit in those pockets for ours. I have many decks. I'll have to ch check. I don't think I. I did suggest it, and you turned it down. No, I'm such an asshole. Reason. I don't know why, though. There was That's a reason. A great idea. There was a reason. You know what? Also, would be cool is to like collect a bunch of little quotes or something and tuck those into the pockets yeah. to pull out. That would be nice. Now, you know what I did the one time, and I should do it again. Is I just grabbed a bucket of scrap and went live. Yeah. And then just anybody had, you know, I was doing my regular sewing, but if anybody, I was doing whatever the heck I was doing while I was live. Yeah. And if anybody had a question or whatever, then I was like, okay, well, let me grab a, let me grab a handful of scrap and, and see if I can show you how to do that. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wait, where did it go? My mom filled me. Ah, uh, see, it was my idea. Uh, huh. That's hilarious. I don't huh. know why I didn't register. I have the worst memory too. Okay. Jordan says my mom filled me one with rocks and stones in it. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> nice. So we said, <gasps> Mini Best tarot stickers. Winning idea, babe. Ah, well, I can give her a hickey each day. Hopes dashed in that instance. You you watched it happen, didn't you? You watched me get all excited, and then she makes the asshole comment, and you just see my face go, "Oh, I could do a love note." Yeah, you could. One for every day for the calendar. Just, I love you in different colors of crayon. You are so much more creative than that. And yeah, you, you've proved it. So now is it a dare? Yeah. Now you have to remember it though. Yeah, I, I think I'll remember. Barb, remind me. <laughs> Wait, that's cheating. <laughs> no, nope. that's cheating. Any way I can remember is good. Um, yeah, for real. I uh, oh, Lexi's boyfriend is getting his first deck. Oh, <gasps> nice. What'd you get him? Can you say? Is he? Does he watch? 
it can't say it's totally fine. I'm just curious. It was a Kickstarter first deck and first Kickstarter. That's nice. exciting. <laughs> um, I also made an advent calendar with a Christmas themed children's book to unwrap every day just for myself. I don't have kids. I think that's fantastic. Well, that. I think that's awesome. You know what else would be fun to step Whatever in? Whatever makes you happy is what you should be doing. You know what else would be cool? Unless it's illegal and then you should be. Yeah. <laughs> what else would be cool is to like make a list of like your favorite holiday movies, um, maybe even a couple holiday books or whatever, not really long ones. And like tuck those into the papers or papers like with those on them. So that when you draw them, it's like, oh, I'll watch this holiday movie. Not for every day, because that might get a lot. But, like, for a few of the days throughout the month. That'd be super fun. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. On the first day? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody write this whole thing Too out. Too gentle, but don't. Wait, I don't wait, trust wait, the internet. Wait, wait. Don't this do is, it. This is already the second day of Christmas. Oh, excuse me. One. She didn't She didn't make contact. Y'all, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Thanks, Barb. What's three? Today's oh, the third. Barb, remind me that you suggested that Peggy writes me love notes for the advent calendar. That's what I'm supposed to remember. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's what's I'm the third gonna... third day of Christmas? My, I don't think I said hi yet. What is third day of Christmas? Oh my God, I haven't. On the first day of Christmas, what you look at to me? Partridge in a pear tree. On the second day, two turtle Christmas. doves, three French hens. Yeah, three French kisses. There we go. I'll take it. Today's the yeah. third. Come here. Not on camera. Wow. Now I suddenly don't want them because that sounded disgusting. What is the matter with you? She even takes nice things and just ruins them. And then she does that. I'm like, okay, I guess I forgive her. It's fine. Yeah. There you go. What's four? Um, yeah, what's four? Four. Five golden rings. What's four? Four calling birds. Four calling birds. Three French hens, two. I'll whistle birds. at you. Um what okay, let's talk about the golden rings. No, 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 no. I think you're done playing this We're game, taking, aren't you? I'm done playing this game. I am done playing. I'll give her. I'll give you pop tabs. Pop, pop tabs. I'm allergic to those. Them. You're allergic to gold too, unless it's like really like, nice. Okay, gold. okay, okay, okay. Listen, I can to... wear platinum and I can wear titanium. You are allergic to the kind of jewelry that I can afford. Titanium is not that expensive, at all. Uh, it's cheaper than gold. Do you really want five rings? Yes. Thanks for asking. Thanks. I will Thanks, help Barb. pick out the designs. Titaniumrings.com. Yeah, four whistle That's count. That's my wedding rings. Okay, so up. now what? Could, what? What? Lisa's what? just allergic to like everything. Lisa's allergic to cheap, definitely. <laughs> yeah, pretty no, much. Titanium's totally affordable. It's not that expensive at all. Um, why do I think feel like I'm learning about ideas for an erotic advent practice? Because you are. Because Peggy has no self control. So uh, do I get me some on Christmas Day? You can get you some any day of the month. Really? You have a really good life. Just don't push it right now, okay? Good Lord. Napkin rings are Napkin still rings. There you go. Thanks a lot. Oh, Thanks a I lot, Watery Witch. I can make them out of fabric. <laughs> oh, just cut little we samples. apologize. When you get to this point, and if you're still watching, we're sorry. Yeah, Because yeah. she's watching from the beginning. <laughs> like, oh, no. Yeah. Um, just put everything yeah. on double speed. We're actually talking at a normal pace today. This is not normal. We're not, we don't speak in normal pace. Yeah, we speak in fast we speak forward. speak in fast Pace. I yeah. just slowed down. I watch I mean, everybody else on double speed, and then I try to watch myself. Five back on rings double of garlic speed. sausage. Okay. That what are rings of garlic? Oh, so, those. Yeah. Okay. So now, what are we at? What's six? Six. I don't know. Six pieces of laying. Half a dozen eggs. Done. Okay. How do we go from like kisses and hickeys to eggs and sausage? Eggs. So I said, well, you got to have something to eat next day. The next day? Eight swans of swimming. Oh, get, get laid December 24, only need 19 more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, um, Robin's Reflections. Oh, we're sorry. Uh, I came here to pull the chat because I only order from MPC every year or two. How long does delivery usually take? My last order took more than a month, but I think it got lost. Um, Even when I've ordered custom, I feel like it's been two to three weeks max at this, and that's in canada so i don't know at this time of year you have, <laughs> at, yeah at, at this time of year whatever people normally expect double it at yeah. least hi tarot geek hello hello yeah seven swans of swimming is seven what we do for seven six so basically you're gonna get fed so you can build up your energy for what comes next seven swans of swimming this got so inappropriate i'm sorry so i could take you to the pool we have a community pool nearby you don't want to go there anymore. Well, then we can just get naked and in the tub seven times. I take it. Yeah. Oh. Sounds good. 
Uh, eight well, ladies dancing. Are you gonna? Eight ladies dancing. You should dance with me eight times throughout the month. We're ladies. Eight ladies dancing. No, we're not gonna dance with six other ladies. No. no. Can't I? No. 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 We won't do that. Somebody wants to die. Um. I'm tired of living. I thought I would make a comment like that. Yeah. Okay, oh, look, eight minutes of milking. It's not. Oh, late, it's late. well, that's back to the boot play again now, isn't it? I can do that. I can't believe you just said. Never mind. I can't believe that you just said boot play on the live stream. Who was surprised I said that? Nobody, nobody is surprised. Okay, what's nine? Okay, nine. Oh God, eight Peggy strip teases. Now that would be fun. I'd, I'd like take, that. Yeah, I take that. But apparently, nine. It's, apparently, it's milking. So I got to play with their boobs. I don't you mind. You don't that. have to. So, play with but there's anyway. oh, ten ladies dancing. Nine maids. Wait, wait eight, no, eight maids of milking. Nine lords a leaping. Oh, lords of nine lords a leaping. Wait, what is it? Nine lords a leaping or ten lords? What are we at right now? So we got eight, eight maids of milking. Nine. Did we ever do seven? What was seven? Seven, seven swans, swans of swimming. swimming. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we're doing it in the Eight tub. Eight maids of... We're not going to do it in the tub. You said just take a bath together. That sounds nice. I said get naked and in the tub. I didn't say what we were doing in the tub. You can wash my hair. I like that. Okay. Um, okay, what's nine? Nine. What's Chris nine? Excuse nine? Oh, it's nine ladies dancing. So there. Wait, there's after, a Christmas version of after, your chakras? After I'm done painting your boobs, I have to dance with you. Then it's 10 lords a leaping. Oh, That's, nine ladies dancing, 10 lords a leaping. What are we going to do for 10 lords a leaping? Well, you can jump me 10 times. No. Because, good lord, that would be nice. After everything else we've already got on the list, I'm going to be a tired girl. So, like, I feel like. That's the, why I gave you breakfast at the beginning sausage and eggs. 11? What's 11? Oh, uh, 11 pipers piping. And I, 12 is. 12 drummers. Wait, what was Carlenas? I missed it. What one's not? <laughs> Do you think we're in Milking Farm? <laughs> oh, that's a, a book that Marlena has spoken about. Interesting. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, This chat is NSFW. This entire conversation is NSFW, but so people should know that if they well, come to our chat. Okay, so basically, okay, if it's just me, y'all, we stay pretty family friendly. The minute Peggy's in the chat, I make no promises. None. So basically, basically, once we no. get done with ten lords a leaping, you jumping me ten times. I thought that was nine lords a leaping. I don't oh, know. No, nine ladies eleven dancing, and twelve lords are both leaping. music. It's like it's like twelve drummers 11. drumming and eleven pipers piping. So basically, you're going to be so worn out. I got to give you a couple of days off and just listen to some music. Okay. To recover. Okay. All right. Is that good? Sure. Sure. I'm not agreeing to anything that you've said in this live stream at all. Nothing except the rings. Why? I will definitely agree to five titanium rings. Thanks no, for, no. We said rings of garlic no, sausage. I didn't say anything about rings garlic of garlic sausage. sausage. You can, you can put it on your on hand that. if you want. Nope. I did not sign off on that. <laughs> nope. Um, <laughs> we'll skip down. Is there no pipes in your household? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Music breaks are just thoughtful. Yeah, see? See, we could do... We'll just do music breaks. We'll just... Since, since yes, we do have a shortage of pipes, so we can just be... Just take a musical interlude for a couple of days and just relax and recover. Don't ask, Heather. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. You no, 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 no. No, 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 no. so perverted today. It's bad. The betrayal. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just... Look at Proud you are of yourself. Look how proud she is of herself for throwing me under the bus. No, we're not tipsy. Not Peggy's the, drinking Diet Coke. Diet I have coffee. She has coffee. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Peggy's just bored. This is why we don't drink because we don't need to. <laughs> Andy says, yes, just finished Christmas edition. My copy will be here tomorrow, putting it straight on NPC so people can hopefully get it on time. Every back is different with a Christmas sweater theme. Oh, that's well, Robert, fun. Yeah, Robert, I don't know what drummer's drumming sounds like, but it could be her catching a second wind. wind. That could be it. Like, I'm not going to say a word about pipes or pretend pipes. I promise. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Uh, <laughs> Look yep. how red you are. I yep. Look at her. It's like you're yep. glowing. Mm -hmm. You're glowing beet red. This yep. is hilarious. I know. Um. I will just say lesbians are creative. Well, well then, well, uh, I've Jordan, said nothing. Shh, keep saying nothing, then. Jordan says, unrelated, wonder what kinds of things your membership includes. Um, if you click the join link, you'll be able to read the full breakdown. But we do things like, depending on what, what tier, we have book club, debt club. We do self-worth chat. We do self-worth study. 
You do, do. A re you do a you do member readings every month. I do a monthly live stream that's like eight hours long for <laughs> two readings. Yeah. Um, yeah, because those I, are the highlights. Like, Honey, I'm done with my video now. <laughs> I know, I can't talk for like... Okay, Bruce, let's go. <laughs> bad okay it's a little bad my voice does get a little tired but i feel like i'm teaching i'm training my voice to tolerate hours upon hours yeah. upon hours of talking and i have been training it since starting youtube because i usually batch film i film like three uh -huh. or four videos at a time yep. usually okay <laughs> <laughs> she does fine she does fine and he's a bad influence i tell her to fuck off so much Oh and I was at God. work and my boss was giving me shit about something at home and we were just laughing. It was just joking. Tell the the boss to but fuck I told him to fuck off and he like kind of thought about it for a second. Like, you can't tell your boss to fuck off. I'm like, sorry. I'm like, You've told him to fuck off before. I think I have. He, but this he, time he seemed like he might have been offended. So I'm like, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll stop for I'm like, a while. it's his fault. Her and her boss get along really well. We do, There's we no we action. Get along really well, yeah. No, you're telling me I was a piece of shit the other day. What did I do to you? I, I don't know, but horrible. you did something deserving. I did something horrible and I deserved it. The but... funny thing is, we actually never, ever, ever, ever no, call, no. Or call each other names if we're like actually upset with each other. I think that's why we can like do that because <laughs> like we never say it when we're like mad. Um, that's what makes it fun, right? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> the behind the scenes of the Emperor's New Tarot is worth the membership. <laughs> Yeah, we had. I basically, oh my god! I basically had my phone filming us face on while we filmed the top down for the channel, and so yeah. all of us like killing ourselves, laughing, me falling apart. Oh my god! Yeah, I was we, like, yeah. almost crying. Peggy was almost crying at one just, point. Like, it was just, it was so bad. Um. Oh, uh, and that was after, and we didn't my think cover shooting. we did we didn't think to turn we didn't turn think to turn on the other camera until like what five five ten minutes ten, in five ten minutes yeah. in she'd already lost her shit so. Just getting started, she's like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like, yeah. yeah. Um, Eric Nunn, yes. I had my photo shoot. I think this is what you're talking about. I had my photo shoot on Monday. That's for the back cover, the front covers. Yeah, it's for the back. It's Well, I, I'm assuming it goes on the back or somewhere in the book. It's my author photo for the book. The yeah. author photo is done. <laughs> I've picked my Llewellyn, photos. Llewellyn does the cover photo and stuff. Yep, I picked my photos. I've seen you the need unedited you need, to you need a cover photo for your... Um... I'm going to use the same photo. I've got no, for two. your for your um for my deck. yeah for my deck guidebook I'll use one of those photos I get two that I got to pick for myself from the photo shoot no um, I mean your actual cover photo you have to decide on your cover photo for your yeah for your unicorn's journey I'm not there yet Shh, it's okay You'll layouts later I did just get for those of you who are keeping up on project updates I did just yesterday get the edited version of my of my unicorn's journey tarot manuscript back from the editor I haven't gone through it at all yet oh you so. got it you didn't tell me no i didn't tell you now i've told you well no i don't regret that hickey one bit you deserve <laughs> Jesus. it anyways i got it like late she last got two hickeys by the way i got do you mind can you please move the fuck on no <laughs> anyways no wait I don't anyways mind. i got it back yesterday evening i've not had a chance to look at it yet but i'm excited um anyways that's all i was trying to say is that a plane i don't know I'm not used to that. That's oh, there was a crow going by. <laughs> oh. Our crows are taking a break from okay, us for the last few days because we put the tree up. The tree's here. The tree's there. The window okay. yeah, is right there. there. <laughs> so the crow stuff is right there. So with, uh, with the tree <laughs> being so close to the window, they're like, something's new. We don't like it. So they're not being as, act they're not being as active the last couple days. No. But they're getting over it because somebody just flew over now. Norman's been in like two or three times this morning. Yeah. He's he's getting used to it. I, Norman I put down, was here too, though. I put but I put down their hot dog. I put down I I've been I just picked up we picked up some cheap hot dogs on sale. Yeah. I've been oh he's off taking a nap. He'll be by. Bruno will be by. Oh Andy, that's so sweet. But, uh, Thank you. Um that's so look at look yeah, at no I, pro I, got, today. I got a hair compliment. I'm like nervous about my hair, but I cut all the rest of the red off. So this is down to my natural color now. Aww. I didn't want to have like half red and half blonde for my Yeah, clothes. she finally got the red out, so that was nice. But it's just a touch shorter than I'm used to. So I'm like, mm, I'm on the fence. It looks but fine. It does look fine, but like I'm on the fence about it. Yeah. I'm always on the fence. We about both kind of prefer a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it any shorter and she'll be butch. Um, like, no. Did you say any shorter? No, I said nothing. Butch? No, no. Hair no. does not make you a heard butch nothing. Make. Move along. I know. Okay, just making sure you're. That's why I want to grow today. mine out. Get it back down to my waist again. That's a I had hair down to my waist when Listen, I was younger. Short hair does not a butch make, but short hair is is hot on is, a butch. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It gets any shorter. Um, <laughs> Bruno's around. He's he's napping. He's around. He. 
Okay, wait till it sounds like we're almost done and then it'll come up. Yes, or if we up. act like we're actually hugging each other or Oh snuggling, my god. I got some, come up. I got some footage. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm on the couch. I'm all, I'm over there. I'm sitting there minding my own business. Lisa comes over, sits beside me, a little cuddle. We're not even doing anything particularly pervy. It's just no. a hug, right? And all of a sudden he is losing his fucking mind. Hi, hi, why are you not petting me? I need to be here. He's walking around and I got most of it on film, I think. Yeah, you got so, at least a clip for sure. I got a clip on film. I got I got a bunch of clips. If I if slash when I get the time to sort those clips out, I might just throw them up on my Peggy So's channel, and I'll probably just do you like, waving do that out. open pop around. It's giving me so much anxiety. Do you know how much sloshing has been happening when you've been talking with your hands? You're... She's like la la. la like, with one hand, and I'm like, oh my god. Um. You know what Lisa did the other day? Absolute truth teller. Yes, I hear you, Andy. What did I do the other day? This was, oh my God. This, this is an embarrassing after, this story. Was, this was after our last um, live. What was our last live? A month ago. So it wasn't a month ago. Or it's last Sunday. Our last Sunday. Oh, okay. The, the last time we went, it's, it's been since then. So we go to Dairy Queen. Oh, you don't remember. We go to Dairy Queen. We you're looking some... at me like you're waiting for me to stop you. Is this an embarrassing story? Yeah, it's going to embarrass you. How embarrassing? Like, how mad will I actually be she when the She smashed her start? ice cream in the door oh! of the trunk. I have a picture. Hold on. I'll show yeah, we you. we took a picture. Okay. We there's a, a spot. Hold on. There's a spot. I'll pull it up. Just there's a, a spot. Yeah. Our car has this little spot in the trunk. Yeah. Where we can set things down, even though you're not really supposed to. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I'll find a picture. Do you have a picture? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Yes. Give me one second. Oh no! No, no, no! I've got it. Wow, you take a lot of you take a lot of stuff. I do take a lot of pictures. No, maybe I don't have a picture. I thought I had a picture handy, but it doesn't look like I do. Oh well. Anyways, there's this spot where we often put our like cup or we whatever. We have a hatch. We have a hatchback. So we have a hatchback. We have the two dogs, right? So we went. We got some ice cream. We came back. The dogs were with us. IKEA, not Dairy Queen. That's why I couldn't remember. We were at oh, IKEA. IKEA. It was at IKEA. Okay. So basically, basically, we had the dogs with us for whatever reason. Oh no, we were at IKEA, so we had a couple of things we had to get out of the back. Mm -hmm. Not that that detail matters, but what Put the hell, the right? Back. Okay. So basically, we have our ice cream. We open the back. Lisa has hers like in a cup. We set it. She sets it down because it's a hatchback, and the corners of the doors of the hatchback of the door, the corner, yeah, the corner of the hatchback area has this little spot that's flat. So we sometimes set things on it, right? Well, we're getting the dogs in or out, or dogs we're getting in or stuff out. In this or time out. it was IKEA stuff <laughs> yeah. in or out. So we get everything settled, and Lisa just like thump closes. I had an ice cream cone. I was holding it. She just goes thump. Ice cream goes splash because she left it on. But the it, no, it gets better. It, it gets better. So we get all the way home. We cleaned it up, right? We thought. We well, get, we picked the cup up and got rid of yeah, that. We get all the way home, and we and there must have been a, and there's like a little dribble of white ice cream going down the one end of my car. It looked really bad. It looked really bad because we then we were making <laughs> dirty bet. jokes about it drizzling. Don't do yeah, it. It was bad. We were so horrible. You made that joke. Please do not say we. <laughs> Moira says so embarrassing that Lisa doesn't remember. I've definitely got a photo. I'm going to find it because it was it was really bad. Hold on. It was really bad. So it wasn't was embarrassing. Like, it was smashing things like, on the door. I was just wondering what people behind us, like on our drive home, probably thought. I was just like, what could they possibly be thinking? That we smashed something in the door and it's just dribbling back out. Like, I legit. Man, you take a lot of photos. I do take a lot of photos. It's going to take you an hour to find it. No, it's not. Because Google Photos, you can literally search. I'm just going to search car. Let's see. There it is. That's after we cleaned it up. That's the it little dribble in the back all the way home. <laughs> oh God! What they thought spilled in the back of the trunk. Nobody likes flash their lights at us or anything. Hero Geek has done it before too. Huge fucking mess. Yeah, it, it actually just, worked out okay on the ice cream front. I'd had a few bites. When I have ice cream, for whatever reason, I finishes it. Yeah, you like it a little bit, and then I'm kind of done. And then the whole ride home, Peggy's like, "Do you want some of mine? You can have some of mine. You're so sweet." I'm like, "I'm okay." And then I would like take a lick and then give it back and yeah, yeah. hand it back. Early ritual. Back to, <laughs> no, no, you, can, you don't need to read every comment out loud. I want to read the good ones. No. Um, oh, sometimes I forget about my groceries. Right, Andy, in the car. so gross. I had to go downstairs last week, like one o'clock in the morning. We were, we're we we went to Costco. We bit, we picked up some stuff, and you know how Costco goes. They don't give you bags or nothing, right? So we no, have some nobody stuff. gives us bags anymore. No, you don't get bags at all anymore. So we've got so we've got a couple things that we're just sitting loose, right? And we're driving home, and I had to make a relatively fast stop, light change, whatever. So this one thing we heard a, we heard a whatever, bring our stuff up, 
we're dumb. We don't notice shit. I'm going for a snack in the middle of the night going, oh, I'm going to have a snack. And it's like one of our things had rolled forward and underneath the car seats. At one o'clock in the morning, I'm down, I'm down there trying to find it. What it's was like, it you were, you were, the non, the mini non, the mini non, oh, mini yeah. non bread. It was, well, because it was sorry. light enough. It was light enough. It was, <laughs> a little, it didn't weigh a lot. So when I had, a, a, basically the lights changed, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. So it went tumble, tumble, bump. Yep. Disappeared. Yep. Yep. We've had we've we've left stuff in the car. We left some chicken in the car once. That was not fun. That was not fun. I was like, what's that smell? Oh, that's the smell of us being stupid. Okay, whatever. Not a good time. No. But anyway, this is why I like grocery delivery. <laughs> Your car a C is leaking. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I just saw another crow. Yep. Yeah, they're 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 probably getting upset because there's no uh now that they've decided that they're okay with the tree, they're getting pissed because <laughs> there's no food out there. Yeah, they're like, give us something good. Turkey doll just showed up. Hello. 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 So, yeah. So. Oh, my friend did that with scallops. Oh. Ow, that hurt. I don't know oh, what you sorry, did. You pinched no, me. I'm just fiddling with your watch. Yeah, you caught me. Um, That sounds really stinky and unpleasant. Okay. Scallops. Yeah. Scallops can be smelly at the best of times. Yeah. I really want to meet all the crows. Yeah. We only have two that we. Two. Basically, and they're children, but they're children. I never see them. They must we be only in see out. them once in a while. Yeah. Basically, we have Norma and Norman. Yep. They're not really hanging around today. The they're just kind of checking Last things out. Days, yeah. The tree is right by the window, so it's kind of freaking them out. So they're not yeah. really. They'll get back to normal in a day or two, but they're not really interested in getting too close right now. Yeah. Which, which they do that every time there's a change. Every time there's a change too close to the window, they are like they have. They, they have notice. To, yeah. They need a couple of days to think about it. And the tree just went up. Yeah, but uh, we only have the two crows because there's two types, not two types, but some populations of crows are migratory and some are non-migratory. Mm -hmm. These two are non-migratory. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I found a really good photo of uh, Norma, my phone's over there, um, sitting out there in the snow last last winter. Oh. But um, these guys are non-migratory, which means yeah. they stick around all year long. We'll have them all winter. So what they do is they're really they're really quiet compared to other crows because they don't want to get the flock. Oh, you've got the video on your channel. If people want to go see, oh yeah, go to my channel. Here. There's two crow, I'll, I'll grab you guys a link. two crow cams that have been, that I put up recently. Let me mute this so it doesn't accidentally start playing anything. Yeah, Peggy. Peggy put up a whole, a really cute. I don't think I have it on a playlist yet. Yeah, I've got, I've got three different crow. Yeah, there's. I more. thought you did. Yeah, you do. Crow cam. Oh, there you go. There's a. You only got one video in it though, so I'll just take them. Ah, uh, there's two more to put in. Yeah. It's this most recent one. Meet Norman and Norma. That's yeah. Norman and Norman. I'll grab you guys this link. Okay, so this is Meet Norman and Norma. A little crow bit of cam. uh It's crow cam with a little bit of text <laughs> to give you give you some information about the crows. How cold does it get here in the peak of winter? Probably unless we have some uns uh, we've had minus 20 up here like minus 20 Celsius we've had minus 20 a couple of times but that's only when it's really really bad on average we're only looking at like minus four minus five on average with maybe a couple of dips yeah um <laughs> we don't get that sounds about right yeah I mean um Barb is over on the island. She's not that far from us, and it probably gets colder there than it does where we are. That sounds terrible, magical, mundane tarot. Chocolate donuts and scallops. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. no. Nope. My son Steve, he had a stomach thing. He was fun. Steve had a bit of a stomach thing, and he's he's he still even to this day has a bit of it. Where if he eats greasy foods when he's tired. Mm. so like we've had when he was little more than one occasion where well more than one occasion i was like okay son here's a hot dog or here's a something greasy blah 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 not realizing how tired he is coming up when i don't feel what and he just start he was a fun one i didn't think bc got that cold it's not very often um, we mostly not have here, our, no like right now we're our our, our temperatures are about four yeah, we don't even have five. We don't even have the Celsius. heat on today. Celsius. Like we have heat, obviously. But we, we also have, had the window open because it was getting stuffy. It was getting yeah, it was getting hot and stuffy in here just because. Um, yeah, yeah, Barb's been, in the warmer area. Oh, Cowichan Valley. Yeah. yeah, we have the mildest climate in all of Canada. Well, now we need to know. Now we need to go to Cowichan Valley. Yeah. Um, not opposed. But yeah, we don't really get. <laughs> Excuse me. We. 
we get this, we, we get really affected up oh, here where we are, at least. I don't know what where Barb is, but we get affected by El Nino and El Nino weather. Yeah. So depending on what it does, don't they? I'm not sure how that I'm not, works. I don't know how it works either. But yeah, most of the time we have pretty, most of the time it's pretty mild. We may get one or two, we, we may get like one or two, one or two snowstorms of an inch. Mm -hmm. That's about it. It's some of the nicest Sometimes weather we get in Canada. Really, we, we get some heavy snowfall, but it doesn't last very long. Yeah. So how cold is cold in Canada? Minus 30 Celsius. Minus, minus 30 is very, very, very cold. Um, minus 40 in Canada. Minus 40 in Celsius is the exact same as minus 40 in Fahrenheit. Yeah. Um, Does where it equalize at zero? Or? Where I come from no. in Ontario, minus 10 to minus 20 is pretty normal over the For winter. For the winter, yeah. Um, where northern Ontario, minus 40 is common, normal. Yeah. Um, yeah, Tara Geek says just a rare occurrence. I lived in Seattle. That's where I grew up. She grew up in the area. Um, in the early 90s, and it did snow a few times when yeah. I was there, but rarely. Yeah, we would get a little bit of snow maybe like late January. Yeah, Chrissy says away. in Manitoba, we're, even in the prairies, El Nino and El Nino have a, definitely are at play. So we, ha we, have yeah. had, we have had two really bad winters. I've known here for 17 years now. I think it's been at least three. And we've had two really bad winters. We had one winter that was so bad with snow. Lisa pulled the car out one day to go to work. Car started sliding sideways. We were on a terrifying. On a, she was backing up on. She was the street. The street was the street was like this. So she's backing out onto this steep street and started sliding sideways, sideways down the hill. It's like oh shit, pulls back and had to take the because we because El Nino made us really really wet and snowy and stuff. Yeah, but oh Fairbanks. Um, I went to Fairbanks when it was about forty below, and it's weird. It's like there's a there's a few things you notice like smog doesn't rise like. You see, like, it, stays um, it just stays. It's really weird. And then the other yeah, thing, bring I, your Canada goose. and when you first walk out in like 40 degree in like Alaska, you'll find that like it doesn't really feel cold at first. No. And then it, because it's so dry, but then at a certain point, it starts to hit and you get really cold really fast. Yeah. But like initially, it's like, oh, this is like fine. Like, what the heck's a yeah. big deal? Minus 40 And then a really, minute later, yeah. you're like, oh, that's why it's a big deal. Yeah. What you want, okay, when you're, when you're in Canada or any place northern, Dang. What you really want to pay attention to is what's called wind chill. Yeah, yeah, can, yeah. Like, I've I've been outside shoveling snow in minus ten in a t-shirt. Yeah. Because you you get working and then you you're, you're so you just start getting hot. Take off your jacket, whatever, and that's fine. I've been outside in like minus one, dying because it's super windy that day. Yeah, Mia says you don't have winter tires for cars. Some people get winter tires, but because we get snow, we're in so the city. Yeah, we we're in the city and we get snow so infrequently that most people are just on all season radials all year long. So, yeah, Barbara, unless you're like trying to cross mountain passes and stuff, you don't need winter tires or chains typically. Yeah. And they plow around here. They didn't used to the first year. Oh years. my god! But then we had the Olympics and they brought in all this the, equipment. So now we have actually they actual, brought in a shit ton of equipment for the Olympics. Yeah. And the Olympics that year, the, the year that they had the Olympics here in Canada, it was so fucking warm. That they literally had to be creating snow to put on the mountain. They had and artificial, snow, artificial up, snow for the for all the winter Olympic sports and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Barb says the humidity makes it feel colder than it really is here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's kind of what that's that's here as well. Like we're not okay, we're not that we're not that far away from Barb, but because of the mountains, I'm over here with this hand, but you guys can't see anything. Because of the mountains, I, like we will have here, we we can go the entire winter not getting any snow in our neighborhood. Yeah, and drive ten and drive like six blocks from here, and they're they've got three feet of it because of because we're very hilly. We're very very hilly here. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. The, the foothills look like they've been dipped in in powdered sugar. Yeah, Heather says we get winter tires in Ontario. Yeah. That makes sense. You've got a very predictable snowfall here. It's like. Some, all season we, radios all we, the way. We've had entire winters go by where the most snow we get is a dusting and it melts like the next day. And then we've yeah. had winters where we get a little bit more than that. But even then, it still doesn't stick around for more than a couple weeks. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we don't usually get it. Our snow doesn't last more than two and we usually get max, and that's in a bad winter. We usually get rain that breaks it up fairly quickly, yeah. too. So then it's like you're just driving in Yeah, slush. we're going to be getting rain all week. Yeah. So Yeah, we're getting another atmospheric river, you said, right? Atmospheric river. So a lot of time talking about weather. That's we're yeah. so exciting. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. We're all we're, we we are all amateur meteor meteorologists around here. Like, yeah. But yeah. 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 Dry cold is less cold. Yeah. Northern Ontario, the area where my dad was from, we went up there for holiday one year over the winter time, and it's minus forty, and we're like, "What the fuck? It's not that cold." And they're like, "No, no, it's cold." And it's like, I know. Dustin has snow where, where he is. I know a lot of people have snow already. Yeah. It's like. Just the first um, weekend. Oh, we had um, there was some there was some snow in the hills. We, have, we get this we get this effect in the mountains. Where it looks like the mountains have been dipped in powdered sugar. I just said that. 
You said it we got snow. You didn't say the powdered sugar thing. I did so. Did you? Yep. Huh. Okay. But really, we hang on to each other's every word. <laughs> Constant. <laughs> like, it's okay. I just tuned out half you, the shit you're saying. I'm pretty sure you were, you were reading comments. You're fine. fine. You're fine. This is, this, is, this, is, this is what 17 years looked like. But, oh, you said something. Uh, were know. you speaking? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, Oh yeah. no, Tree of Witches Tarot says, Oh, the plows build a huge yeah. snow berm at the end of my driveway and it doesn't melt till April because it's north facing. Oh yeah. no. We had we That's had so frustrating. We had a, when I was still living in Ontario, we had a snowstorm that was so bad the one year um that, that they pushed up all this snow. It was it was by the schoolyards. We passed it by every day, right? This pile of snow was so freaking big, it had to have been like three stories high. It was just this massive pile. It did not melt until like the end of June that year. Yeah. They're like, oh, look, it's summer. It's 20 degrees at Celsius. Yeah. You know, it's 20, 22 degrees. It's getting warmer. Oh, it's so hot today. Oh, my, 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 whatever is sprouting. And look, because once they, when, when you're in commercial areas, once it gets that layer of dirt on it, that's like insulation. Yeah. It was hilarious. And then it stays. Yeah. Nia says, I live in Finland and it's a lot of change winter tires every winter. We have yeah. areas like if you're going to go like, over the mountain passes or if you're going to be driving in certain areas, you legally have to have winter tires. Yeah. But like if you're just in, the, in the city, city. lower mainland, it's not required. No. Or in the city. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you want to know how to get those big berms though. If you basically if you want to get the big berms to melt faster, just you don't have to dig them out, but just get something into there and put cracks in it to so the sunlight oh. and, and ambient heat and stuff like that. But if you're in the if you're if you're in the shade, that's if you're gonna just make in it the harder. shade, you're you're stuck. It's kind of funny because even frost, you can see like you can just drive like five minutes. And you'll be in a neighborhood where just because of the way the shade is yeah. and where they're facing, they've still got frost like by three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah we had that just the other day. Like, yeah. yeah, and it's like, it's kind of trippy to see how big of a difference it can be just based on where your house faces. Well, because here, like I said, here, we can go, we can go, we can go to the beach today and then by noon be up in the mountain skiing. Uh -huh. I mean, that. obviously we're not going to go swimming today, but. Excuse me. One of my favorite things about BC is that you're like, we're literally like less than an hour from the desert, the ocean and the mountains. Yep. It's like the most yeah. magical. Oh, we can go. We can, we can go. We can go down to the beach and do some fishing today, and then go up to the mountains and do whatever. Drive Robert, the yeah, they've already been skiing for a while. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's kind of weird. Like I said, it's it's the altitude thing, which is still fascinating to me because where I'm from in Ontario, we don't don't really deal with that. Yeah. All this is outside yeah. my realm of experiences, Marlena from Marlena's Florida. Going, I'm in Florida. Fuck you all. It's just uh, sun all year long, isn't it? Like, how does that work? I don't understand. Do you get seasons? Do your lease change? I don't know. I don't know anything. I've never been to Florida. Um, mm -hmm. I'd really love to go to Canada in winter. Must be a magical experience. There's it certainly depends areas. On where yeah. in Canada you're going? In BC, it's going to be dreary New York City. Picture that. You know, yeah. maybe not even New York. New York gets snow in the winter. Doesn't feel thing. Yeah. 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 So like more like um, more like rainy, dreary, cold in the in BC, if you want, but if everywhere you, else. If you want to experience, if you want to experience the magic of winter I could in Canada, so, yeah. you're gonna want to go into northern Ontario. But you, you can you can get all sorts of you can get all sorts of winter type stuff throughout Canada. If you want the guarantee, right? Then you're gonna want to be into northern Ontario, like North yeah. Bay, Sudbury, areas like that. Mm -hmm. Or you want or you're gonna want to go to Alberta. Going into like the Lake Louise area, Edmonton, um, Edmonton, Calgary. Oh, I want to go to Hawaii from there so over bad. the over to the foothills, the mountains. Yeah, this is like the Big Island. You can go boarding on the yeah. mountain in the morning and then go down to the beach and swim in the afternoon. Yeah, I would love no seasons, no leaves changing. It gets cold for a couple of weeks in January, and that's like sweater weather. <laughs> yeah, I want to experience that. I've never experienced even even here in in. Um, even here on the west coast, where it's the this is the it's warmest milder, area yeah. of Canada, we still we still expect at least a couple of days of snow. The funny thing is, I think that if not for our weather situation up here, I think because I we I, I want to stay in Canada. I have no interest to go back to the U.S. Yeah. at all. But like the funny thing is, is that because we've looked at like where else we could potentially go live. But like we literally looked up like the hottest and coldest temperature at all the other places in Canada. And we're like, that's a no. It's yeah, too hot already, in the summer, too cold in the winter. Yeah, we're already, no, the, the only area that would be nicer is the Sunshine Coast. Florida. Sunshine Coast would be nice, but yeah, but because it's got this, I don't know. Barb might Barb might not be able to explain it better, but it's kind of like pseudo isolated. So <laughs> no big grocery stores, no big things. So it's like mm -hmm. really, I don't know. I don't know what it's cost to buy or rent property out there, but the day to day expenses of living are pretty. They're high. pretty high. Yeah. Where is this Sunshine Coast? Oh yeah. I would love to live out there, but yeah, it's it's 
The fact well, that you are from Catherine like, Montez is in the Dominican Republic. Don't hate me. I wear, I hate sweating all year. I miss cold seasons. Yeah, I'm I hate not you. jealous. I'm sorry. I, I'm honestly, I'm jealous. I'm, oh, I'm honest. totally jealous. I'm not. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm live, completely jealous. I don't want to live in a place that's hot all year round. I would hate that. I would. I don't mind the heat though, and I would adjust. I don't. I would not. I I like seasons. I really look forward to the rainy season. I really look forward to fall. I really look forward yeah, to West winter. Coast, West Coast is moderate, and as Barb mentioned, like like the, the area that she's in is a is basically a rainforest. Wow. This is the only northern this this region contains the only um, temperate rainforest in the entire world. Yeah. Magical Monday in Tara, northwestern Flor Florida, Panhandle. We get about a week or maybe two if below freezing weather, but mostly it's overnight and it warms up in the day. Yeah, we yeah, heard this from Danny. Nice. It's so funny. She gets so excited when she can wear her sweaters and stuff in yeah. Louisiana. And it's just like, oh my God, it's not even that cold. Yeah, no, weather's weather's a weird thing. Weather is a really weird thing because, you know, we we all know about it, but then when we start experiencing, it's like, whatever, it's just weather. And then you start talking experiences, talking at like Marlena, it's like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. I might have yeah. to wear a sweater over Christmas. It's like, Dude, so I've been drinking coffee. You know, oh, we're expecting shit tons of rain and maybe a little. Well, shit tons of rain, but if the weather drops, it becomes freezing rain. We had that one year. The, that was last year. I missed my Christmas party work because it was freezing rain. Freezing everywhere. rain. We had freezing rain last year. Yeah, that yep. was fun. Kentucky, our summer seems to last forever now, and I hate it. Yeah, we've been getting yeah. hotter up here. Also, we've had some heat domes the last few years. Yeah, we've had we lots had of up. really bad fire seasons too, which has been really bad. Yeah, this year was pretty good though. I mean, we okay. This year was. We saw a brutal fire season, but we didn't have the heat dome this year. I don't think, I don't think it was. I don't think no. it was as bad this year as it was the last two years. We're great at talking about the weather here in the UK. I know. I yeah, if oh, you don't yeah. like the rain, don't mm -hmm. move to Vancouver Island. I know. I like the oh, rain. Oh yeah. I don't. I, I don't. It's not that like I'm like oh yay it's raining. Well, sometimes I'm like oh yay it's raining. You know what it is? I love the sound of the rain. Like I will often set up my my bedroom speaker yeah. to play rain sounds at night. Yeah, she I loves love the, rain. the sound love, of the rain. Yeah, she and loves I love the sound of the rain, but she does not like the sound of rain and wind and actual storm. I don't want storms. I just love rain. Like so, who's sorry? Go no, ahead. no, no, you go ahead. So what's everybody doing for Christmas? Let's stop talking about yeah. No, it's been like weather for like half an hour. We're gonna bitch. Let's bitch about the weather. I guess it's not just a Canadian thing to bitch about. The no, weather. that's all we do is it's like weather this, weather that. Oh, Katza says I think there's a temperate rainforest in Cornwall, UK as well. Super tiny though. Possible. I was yeah. always told that this is. I was well. I'm Canadian. So our Canadian, our Canadian people tell us that. Yeah, but yeah, do you guys have holiday plans? Who's got fun? Ho okay, our holiday plans are. We're not getting yes, gifts. We, we, well, okay, okay. I'm doing the blanket for John as 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 his Christmas present. But I was mm -hmm. gonna. I'm probably gonna give it to him as soon as it's done. Um, you are not. You're gonna wait. I'm gonna do whatever I want. You'll wait. I'm gonna do whatever it's I want. I'm gonna do us. what I want. I don't care. Anyways, we're not doing my much. fabric. We're keeping it local. We're not doing much. We don't we have, usually do though. We keep it. There's no. There's, there's, it's, it's it's just the it's it's just us for Christmas. So it's not like we have this big extended family in the area. So it's just. I'm, I'm probably gonna work. Yeah, I'm probably, <laughs> I'm gonna... probably gonna be doing a lot of work. Um, I've got a book. Uh, I've got books to lay out. Plans, uh, both parents going. Yeah, it's but... that's a change, right? Like that can be a, a difficult adjustment period. Come hang out with us. You can come over and hang yeah, out. Yeah, come on, hang out with us. We are just doing. We are just come on not... over to the Lower Mainland. We're not even doing gifts. We're not even no. gonna. We're not even doing gifts. But we haven't for the last few years, though. Well, Lisa likes to do a little stocking. I do stockings always. You know what? Ten dollars worth, yeah. worth of fun stuff. Yeah, I like stockings. Stockings are fun. Um. My holiday plans are to not have plans. I think that's awesome. Yeah. That's perfect. Gifts for Bruno. He's um, a diabetic. What can you give a dog that can't have anything to eat? <laughs> me. We usually give them something, but it's usually not that terribly yeah, exciting. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hang up. We're not even doing it. We're not even doing a turkey this year. No, we're doing a turkey roast. We're doing a turkey roast this year. It's gonna be yeah. super low key. Yeah. Just hang out. Just eat some food. Not try too hard. Yeah. No, everybody's got everything that they need. We don't need. So gifts are kind of a waste for us. Oh, JTK Love no Letter kids. says. We took the kiddos to see Southern Lights last night. The weather was rainy and just yucked, but they had a great time. We didn't get home to almost one and him beat. Oh, oh, wow. See, that's the thing. Like, yeah, I think if grandkids ever show up on the horizon, then what we want to do for Christmas will distinctly change. Yeah. But. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. I don't mind it low key. One, one weird thing that we have out here. Um, like we have a lot of people out here that just don't celebrate Christmas cultural for cultural reasons. Yeah, that's true. So it's not such a big deal. There's gonna be there's actually gonna be stores and restaurants and stuff like that that's open. So yeah, too true. What you doing? I was just fixing my chat. Just fixing. She's clicking buttons and now I can't see a thing. It'll be okay. You can see it now. 
Hey, y'all see? You're good. Shenanigans, always. Always shenanigans. Hi, yeah. guys. We're going to go live. We may, we may do, I don't know. We haven't decided, but we may do one or two lives over the holiday. Yes. You get a week off. I'm taking, yeah, between Christmas and New Year's off my day job, which will be great. And and, and if, probably everything, if, everything, if everything goes according to plan, the big activity over Christmas is probably to make your Alice in Wonderland quilt, if it hasn't already been made by then. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, if we've got all this stuff for a Alice in Wonderland quilt that we got over the summer. And Yeah, just pick, picked up the fabric. Then I got busy with doing different things. That was your fault, though. Yep. That's yeah, true. Chinese food, holiday tradition. Yep. Yep. Yeah, all the Chinese restaurants are open. That's a big. It's a big day for Chinese restaurants in this area. Too. Oh, I love this. We bought a big Grinch for the for the yard and took the kiddos to pick out ornaments for a yearly. Oh, see, that'd oh, be that's fun. fun. I once every once once there's no kids in the picture, it's like it's different. Uh, the vibe of it is different. I I think now it's like I really enjoy cozy, laid back, calm, casual holidays yeah. now. But you know what? For it's me, it's so not different. that big of a deal because it was because because my family blew that my the, the the incident that blew up my family and led to me going permanently no contact happened on Christmas happened Day. Happened on Christmas Day. So so Christmas associations. Was ruined, Christmas was ruined for me permanently yeah. twenty years ago. So it's not hurting my feelings in any way, shape, or form to have a more relaxed, to have it be quiet, yeah, yeah. be quiet day, yeah, yeah. That's true. We're having prime rib for Christmas. That's awesome. Yeah. We made Marie a Marie Callender's chicken pot pie for Thanksgiving. That's as close as we got to a turkey. Yeah. Then Marie Callender's pies, though, those are delicious. Yeah, we've had one of those. Those, those are bad. really good. I used to get them. I can't find them anymore, but Costco used to have them in, like, the little personal size ones. Yeah, Morgan says, we're big kids. Bring on the gifts. <laughs> Our problem is that we have all the toys. We are got, big I've... fans of instant gratification. So, like, I buy decks all throughout the year. I buy all everything else I want all throughout the year. So does Peggy. So, like, I've got a couple of thousand yards of fabric. I own four sewing Aww. machines and a serger. What yeah, can, cozy know. holidays with the doggo. Yeah, when you, yeah. I think the interesting thing is that when you're more like, I don't want to say isolated, but when you've, when, when you've kind of gotten to a place where you don't have to deal with all the big family gatherings and the drama that's associated yeah. with it and stuff, your holidays can be just actually really calm, relaxing times. And it's so lovely. Well, especially that now, sounded really bad, but hopefully well, y'all understand what I mean. Especially nowadays, that because it's be not lovely. quite so, what's the word, stigmatizing to be alone on Christmas. It's not. Yeah, See, it doesn't it. always, there's more uh, people that are sort of reclaiming it for themselves. So there's less yeah. of that narrative that. Yeah, this is the day that's going to be about time. us. John's not coming over till yeah. later. I don't know what, I don't think we're seeing him until late afternoon, early Yeah, evening. we're doing like an evening, an evening Christmas. And we're not JT, doing turkey. Hey, have I had a good quiet Christmas? Oh, wait, I love uh, a good quiet Christmas. Melissa DeBreeze. Well, take care of your migraine. That, that, oh, that, bye. That's take care. priority. Um, better. I love a good quiet Christmas. It can be such a stressful time of year. It's such a great time to go yeah. inward and get cozy. Yeah, it's funny. You know what I hate in December is going into any store anywhere for any oh reason. Oh my god! We were just in like where were we? That I was starting to lose my Walmart. Shit. Walmart. We, went, we have a Walmart. Yeah, we went into Walmart for a couple of things, and it's wall to wall fucking people. And it's not so much the crowding; it's the way yeah. that people just like run into you. I was getting such bad anxiety. Like by the time we left, I was like, okay, I'm so done right now. I was like, yeah, we're just the two of us, still self, big self. kids in our fifties. We're probably gonna oh, try and get out. There's a, there's a couple. There's, there's some like activities that there's plenty of stuff to do around here. It's super crowded everywhere you go. Though it That's wasn't so problem. bad. The but, lights around Lafarge have been really lovely. This yeah, we're like probably gonna go do those again. Yeah, we'll walk around those. Yeah. Those are really nice. Cuban Christmas. Marlena Teresa was saying, "Where did it go?" Yeah, Holly. When I had an office job, Christmas was my only real break all year, so it was lovely. Different now that I work for myself. Yeah, I work for myself. For me, it's just. Roast pork, yucca, and congree. Rice and black beans. That all sounds really good. Come cook for us. What's con Oh, rice and black rice beans. Rice and black beans next. Yeah. That sounds good. Come to my house. Make me food. Yeah, it's no, the grabbiness. I like cooking. I like that's 100% it. The grabbiness. The, like, push, tension. Everybody's cranky. Like, it's it just, ugh. So I'd like to get away from that. I, yeah. I, I've kind of gotten so, I don't know. Even, even back when the kids were still young, it's like the commercialism around Christmas always made me a little nuts. Yeah, but that's okay. That's okay because you know what? Everybody's at different stages. That's true. For her, everybody's for sure. at different yeah. stages. Because I'll tell you right now, if we had, if 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 either one of our kids had kids of their own, and we had grandkids to spoil, it'd be totally. We different. would not be talking like this. We'd nope. be like, we're going here. We're doing this. We're doing that. We bought the kids five million dollars worth of shit that they're not going to use, and I would be so out of control. Oh, oh, absolutely, grandchildren, absolutely. absolutely. So we have to own our shit. We have to. And stop when the kids and were younger, yeah. When the kids were younger, I went like. Oh, we were crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Our, our first Christmas together, the four of us, we must have easily spent two grand on the boys. Like just over the top. Oh, fuck yeah! Fuck I was yeah. so excited to have kids to spoil. It just it like it's not basically basically. It was definitely more for us in some ways. We have we have we have all the stuff that we want or need. So There's a Google's exciting. advent calendar. Excuse me, hold on, BRB. 
Oh Are you God. kidding? A Woobly Wonderland advent calendar? What the fuck is a Wooble? Oh my god, oh, I didn't know about those. this. These are those little kids. Oh, $172. Oh my god, though. Wait, I don't understand. You get, you don't, okay. You've got kids that you're not using them. That's, I don't have any kits. I have patterns and I have yarn. This, this advent calendar seems you already know how to crochet. If it's your first time, we recommend getting this bundle instead. What's in here? What's the bundle? One full-size Google kit, 14 accessory kits. Stitch markers are gonna have okay, so it's like it's like crochet accessories plus beginner to intermediate accessory kits. Yeah. You would never you would do one, maybe two. They weren't all individual. I'm still excited. Okay, that's it. I have not had time yeah, to say crochet sold, for sold. a while. to spoil and elves on shelves and all sorts going on here. That's see, that's the thing. If we had kids in the picture, I, I firmly believe that Christmas is for kids, and once there's no kids in the picture, Christmas got Christmas got super boring super fast. Yeah. Oh, glad you enjoyed, oh. Tara G. Got someone wants to know what's in the kit. Um, it looks like it's accessories. Yeah, tell us somebody who has it. Somebody has it. Michelle, tell us what's in it if you if you've opened any of your stuff yet. Yeah. It sounded like it was accessories, crochet hook, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know that it's a full crochet kit. Anymore. Yeah, kids kids make the holidays so special. My little one was so excited about the lights last night. It's his first Christmas <laughs> being like True. actually able to run around and take notice of it all. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love Christmas for kids. Yeah, we have everything we need. Oh, yeah, that's pretty much my life. This yeah, is how I roll. Yeah, yep. that's how Lisa rolls. We did go to the little Christmas market. Oh, I've got a little vlog coming up in my Tuesday show and tell for November. Yeah, trio of witches. I agree. The magic was lost when my kids grew up. It's just different. Honestly, yeah. Once the boys, once once we kind of sat down and went, look, and both of the boys oh. have everything that they need. Yeah. It's like I don't want or need anything else. The magic is less. And now so than then, then we decided. Then we decided. It was, a, it was a smart decision to scale it back. So yeah. Yeah, the magic is less now that the nibblings are older. This year, trying to get it back now. We're through dad's cancer surgery, appreciating the smaller things. Absolutely. Okay, so there's 24 drawers. Some have boring things like stuffing or stitch markers, but most of them are accessories, little projects to make. And apparently near the end, there's one full-size project. You That's know what You know what I would be so into? And I keep hearing about this, and I want to do one, but we don't. Is what? We don't We don't have enough people that locally that, that are in our lives. To do what? Um, orphans. They call them orphans Christmases and orphans oh. where you just, it's like a bunch of people who don't have their own things going on. You just all yeah, get together and have a everybody get together. Okay. We're going to get together yeah. and have a big thing. I'm, I'm going to, we're going to do all this stuff. Everybody bring a, you know, basically a giant potluck. Yeah. And it's like no gifts, yeah. no nothing, no expectations. We're just, you know, we're just going to, you know, we, we're just going to get together and hang out and avoid all the crap that everybody else is doing. Yep. 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 Yeah, Taurus, when I spoil my husband and parents, Friend I don't must. have, I don't have yeah. kids, so it's my excitement. See, yeah. That, that's, that was us. That's been us. That's kind of where we are, are right now. But we don't do gifts because none of us, I can't buy her a deck. I don't even know what she has in the house. She's not going to go buy me another sewing machine. I already have four. Well, your birthday is like My birthday is December Christmas. the 14th. Yeah. So. Which is fine. Hi, Yvonne. It's been my birthday my whole life, so it's not like change that changes anything. Yeah, but still. I'd rather do something I'd rather do something I'd rather do something interesting for my birthday. Not over the top because I still don't want or need anything. Yeah. I'd rather do something interesting, go to dinner or do something for my birthday. What about a PlayStation 5? I never got into the PlayStation. I have a Switch and that I barely use. Peggy and I both we have, have a, Switch. We also have a Wii U that we barely use. Yeah, we have Apple iPads. We have we have tech. We're good. We're good on tech yeah. and games. And we do a lot of our gaming on the computers too. Well, and we have this other thing too. Like my computer, my computer was starting to go eh, eh, right? But but doing everything, doing the things that we do online, it's like, okay, your computer, there's waiting for Christmas to come to have a reason to buy the computer. It's like, no, we'll just get uh, it. Now. That's a six month risk that mm -hmm. something's going to happen. Yeah. That I'm not going to be able to do anything that I need to do to keep my Etsy shop going or. My, you know, I like doing the videos. So, so. I haven't played Pokemon Unite. Which kind of Pokemon, Pokemon game is that? Unite? Have you heard of that, babe? No. Pokemon Unite. We use by the time Christmas is over, we've usually strategic found strategic team battle game. Oh, interesting. By the time Christmas is over, we've usually found one thing to either do as an activity or a thing, or one thing that it's like, oh, we should get ourselves a blog. Wait, is this like okay, little dark arts? I'm gonna need you to give me the scoop. Is this like? Star. Oh, it's free to play. What's that? What's that one that John played for a long time? Star, the battle, the battle net oh, game. Oh, Starcraft. Star, Starcraft. Is it like that? But Pokemon? It's um um. They just said it's free to play. 
you got to try it. It's free to play it. It says Google Sagittarius Play App Store. Three Deacon Baby. I have no idea what that means. I was born in 1964. I'll be turning 59 this Let's year. Let's just check. Uh, yeah, you're turning 59, right? You said? Yeah, why don't we check. save and come to the UK Let's to meet find out. Christmas presents? See, now that might be that might be a future goal. I, would, right? I want to go to the UK so bad. Oh, I really she, want to yeah, see Scotland. Wants, I really want to go to Glastonbury. Glastonbury and Stonehenge. Lifelong dreams, yo. Um, yeah. I think I think that's going to happen. I think we can make that happen. Yeah, I should just make an excuse going to the UK Tarot Conference. We could absolutely. You know I what? I want to do so okay, this, bad. If we didn't, have, this is this is the fucked up part. If we didn't have dogs, I know they're special. With Bruno being a diabetic dog, Pokemon that's unite. That's a good excuse, though. But choose no, a Pokemon. That's not, something we can, that's not something we can afford. But once we can, we're probably going to make it happen. I'm downloading Pokemon Unite on my tablet right now. Can I play it on my iPad? Hopefully. Yeah. Fifth. They are my souls. My, my daughter is 25 and loves Christmas, but my son is 16 and says, Mom, I want nothing. Ten of Wands is your deck and minor card. Cool. That makes sense because burdens. And stuff. Burdens. Yeah, you're you a burden. Wow, wow. I mean, you're not a there burden. There were so many places you're... you could have taken that, and that mm -hmm. was not the one. <laughs> it's fine. I'm teasing. You don't, you don't like... understand that I'm teasing my wife at this point, right? Does your wife understand you're teasing at this point? Do you? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. I'll give you another hickey to prove my love. Stop with that. Jesus. Let me just wave my stuff at the camera. I just wanted to get my, my tablet put away. Um, it's oh, switch. Michelle going. Russell, one of my favorite dream, one of my favorite dream trips is to head to the UK, England, Scotland, Wales. Same. And geographically follow the legend of King Arthur. One of these years I'll actually do it. That'd be awesome. I think it's funny, Big. I mean. Yeah, I want to go to Averbury for real. I want to go to Averbury, yeah. Glastonbury. I want to see the Red Spring, the White Spring. The tour, yeah, can't, yeah. My middle daughter, who's want to tour Scotland. Anything at all except books. This is what happened to us. Like we, yeah. we, we hit this age where we hit this stage where none of us wanted anything. No, none and of I think, us. I think we didn't also, want anything. We didn't even need anything. The things that we wanted or needed, we were all really good about just taking care of ourselves. And we're not a gift-driven family. Like I came yeah. from a gift-driven family, and like but that's a different thing. For me, it was like a, a bit of no. I was just gonna say, for me, it was really nice to change the narrative around special days and make it yeah. not so much about presence and more about being present you know yeah which we're doing we're yeah. doing we're doing we're doing that i got not... makeup covering it you can't see it you can kind of see a shadow of it but it's right over there it's over there it's over there don't excuse me what the hell you know how much work that was i know look, look at him nope here. i don't no nope. nope. i don't think i know nope. no you're gonna you're gonna get distracted and take it look over here look no no <laughs> bird you cannot just Stop. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, what doing? There's this bird. There is this bird on the internet. This was like got to be two or three years ago now. That would go. That would go. What doing? What doing? And we started doing that to each other, and it never. We never stopped because we have no imagination to do something else. I'll get you a link for right now. Is that him there? Yeah. It's it's Hamlet. Yeah, but it's just going to take you an hour. No, it's not. I'm just going to click the share button, and y'all can do the deep dive. If this is the exact right video, oh, okay. This is the exact right bird. It's just a matter of finding the right video. But that's Hamlet. He's super cute. He's super cute. He's a talking bird. Yep. Dying to see Tintagel. I know. I I see. I don't know what that is, but that's fine. Yep. I'm li I'm literally listening to the Mist of Avalon on Audible right now, actually, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I think I read that book like probably easily a dozen times. It's one of what my favorites. Dust bunny on my ceiling. I hate dust bunnies on the ceiling because I'm short. Not a spider, it, right? It's just a dust bunny. Oh, okay. That's all I I'm short and they're hard to get at. Hello there, my soul. Um, I don't know why I'm saying hi. You've been here the whole time. Yeah, but I want to do. I you say hi. That's why. I would love hi, to do. Stephanie. I would love to do something because you can go. You can go to like public events and stuff like that. But I would love to do the thing where you just okay, everybody bring a dish, do whatever. Yeah, just hang out. Show up. I want to have a board out. game Christmas. That's what I want to yeah, have. I want to have, have a bunch of people over, play some board games. Yeah. Yeah. Just have this open house type thing going on. That'd be fun. Mind you, we'd have to live somewhere else. I know we're in such a small place. We our living room is like this. Yeah. And then the rest of the house is tarot and so <laughs> come yeah, come look at our decks and sew some stuff. Um, yeah, same tarot geek. Have you read the other ones like Forest House and Priestess of Avalon and all the others? I've read them, but my favorite is is the original Miss Avalon. Like for say real, Marlena. Games? I wish. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Marlena and, Christmas, and Christopher yeah. and Andrew from Little Dark. Y'all just need to come. Yeah. And play games. Okay, Booking play plane games. tickets. I will play board games with you for like eight hours a day. If it was easier, <laughs> if it was easier 
To like travel? Well, no, like to like rent a space and do a thing. It's okay. This is what oh, we're doing. Yeah. But you have to have so many, you have to have so many people. It's, it's a process, it's a process right? Process for we sure. did that. Well, my cousin did that one year, rented a, we were, we were my, my cousin the one year like for real. wanted to have a, wanted to have a new year's party, but she had stuff going on and didn't want to have it at her house. Yeah. So they booked a hall. Yeah. They booked a hall. And said, okay, this is what we're doing. And because it's a New Year's party, if any, any, you know, bring, bring it, everybody, everybody chipped in like five or $10. It was a cheap haul. Yeah. And this was like 40 some odd years ago. Everybody chipped in a few dollars and brought a, brought enough snacks. They bring some snacks. I mean, they're all going in a big giant pile. Yeah. Bring some snacks, put them in a big giant pile. Everybody kicks in five to $10. But this, but this was like all kinds of local extended friends and family and nobody had to travel and do yeah. all the things. Right. It is 50 hours long. I've got. I'm Miss of Avalon. Yeah. I've got 37 and a half hours left to go. That's my progress. Of what? Miss of Avalon. I've listened to nine hours so far and oh. I have 37 and a half or 37 hours and 50 minutes. So basically 38 hours left. Yeah. Marlena says I'm not much of a traveler. I've lived in the a same lot. area my whole life. I lived in the same area my whole life until I got on a plane where with a one way ticket and came out here. And now we just basically stay in this area. Yeah. I totally get I'm it. I'm not much of a traveler either. Yeah. It's not that I dislike traveling, but yeah. What were my favorite board games as a kid? There was a game called Millionaire, and the idea was, uh, no, that's not the game. There was a Monopoly franchise game named Boardwalk that I really liked. I liked Monopoly, of course. My like aunt and uncle had a game, and it was my favorite game in the whole wide world. Yeah. You started off with a million dollars, and the goal and the winner was the one who spent it all. Yeah. So you would go through and do the different activities. And I, 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 keep, I keep wanting to say it was millionaire, but I think it was actually called bankruptcy. It was, but that game was old even when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't even think. By the way, Holly, I don't even think I had a life all the time. I don't even think I had to spend a credit. I think it was just if you're an Audible member, I think it was just free. I don't remember buying it. I don't think I bought it. I might have, but I don't. I mean, I don't think I used a credit on it. I think I just got it. Um, favorite board games though. Life. Life was life for sure. Life. Trouble, this, trouble was big in my family. Oh, uh, with the popping bubble. My, my. Do you know? Do you know my parents? We had a travel version, and we lost some of the pieces. Do you remember with the shape of the pieces that went in the little hole thingies? Ish. Yeah, we lost some pieces, so they subbed out a couple pieces for cigarette butts. <laughs> Sounds about right. We <laughs> clue. Oh my god, yes. We clue. instead of trouble, we had a custom made board. Yeah. That was a, it was the exact same idea and we just call it marbles oh I, I, I didn't have a name it was not a, chinese checkers though no 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 oh, okay. it, was, it was trouble on a larger scale i think instead of four you had like six and you're like home right yeah but it was a homemade game like some like somebody had taken a drill and went zzz, 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 yeah. by hand it was like um i i think they'd taken an old um table yeah and cut it into a square and and just Cause that's what you did Dang. back then when you was poor folk, you just went ahead and made your own. Right. Wow. So somebody took the idea of the game trouble and made their own homemade version of it. Yeah. If you've never played Moncala, that's a fun, relaxing game to play. Very, Crocodiles. very simple. Um, Crokinoles. You taught me to play Crokinoles. We had yeah. a Crokinole board for a little bit. Yeah. But they, um, we had a Crokinole board and it was a really nice, it was a really nice thoughtful gift from you too. But we just never had the space to actually use it. We used to play Crokinoles all the time. Right. Holly worth a listen. I like the narrator too. There was another game called, I forget what it sorry. was Sorry. I remember playing Sorry oh, a lot. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Phase 10 is great. You know, of course. Yahtzee. I was, we, we were diehard Yahtzee family. Um, yeah. I'd get gifted board games that nobody ever played with me. So I had to play them on my own. Yeah. That's kind of what we had going on. Like we had board games. We didn't play them all that much. Monop I never actually liked Monopoly. Really? A Monopoly took too long and was just got by the time by the, I wasn't a huge fan, but once you hit a certain it. stage in Monopoly, you can you know who's gonna win. Yeah, that's true. I will say it's as like, a, okay, as I know you're gonna win. Okay, this this happened. Now I know you're gonna win. Why are we still playing? I will say that as an adult, I far prefer playing games that are like not the typical like Warner Brother. No, Warner Brothers. Yes. Is Warner Brothers a board game? No, what am I thinking? No, Hasbro. 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 Um yeah, I far prefer playing those kind of games, like more unique. Yeah, the games. buzzing scared me, so I made my parents remove the batteries, and we'd have endless arguments. You touched the edge, no, I didn't. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wizards of the Coast games, Munchkin, Guillotine, oh, um, Scrabble, yeah, um, Geek. What's the Geek one? Euchre. Um, what's, my geek? Euchre what's, my, what's my Geek one? Shay Geek. Shay Geek. Um, Killer have, Bunnies. 
Killer Bunnies in the Quest of the Magic Carrot is epic. Yeah, that's yeah. epic. You can't even get Kerplunk? that anymore. Oh, yeah, Kerplunk was a good game. Um, Kerplunk was fun. Um, yeah, Munchkin. Yeah, Munchkin is fun. Oh, I think I already mentioned Munchkin. Munchkin. Okay, 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 okay. So what is a game that you played and you're pretty sure nobody else... Yeah, tell us about your unique, unique. Tell us about your games. unique game. Or like, card games. Or card game. Like we play really euchre all the time, but lots of people would know well, what euchre is. Up the river is a, is a card up game. Up the river was a unique game that we played. That's just family. a regular card game. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a unique little card game. We Boggle. Should... Yeah, but Peggy kicks my ass in bottle. Boggle. Yeah, I, I win. She has I have a better. Game. I have a more of a, sh more of a passing chance. Shooting, shooting chance. What do you call it? What's that phrase? What's your context? Like. I have more than a whatever chance. What's more the, than an even chance? There's uh, a term I'm looking for. Um, of anyways, of winning if we play Scrabble versus Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll do better at Scrabble. Yeah. King, Ooh, of, King Tokyo. of Tokyo. That's a, that's that a sounds sound interesting. Anymore. What about Jax and Ball? See, I want to look all these up now. We, you know what we should do? We should we should we should next we should get out the we should get out the cards. Not today. We should we should do a what about our holiday life? Well, it'll just be the two of us, and that's hard to do with two people. We should show you guys how to play Up the River. It's a super easy game to learn. Yeah. It's super, super fun, and it's such a simple game that you can just sit down, hang out, chit-chat. You don't have to concentrate. Want to look up Jackson Ball? Yeah, Jackson Ball. You know, oh, wait. Oh, actual Jackson Ball. About the, I yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I used to play that. Um, 13, I've, heard of, of I've heard of 13 dead end. Chinese checkers. Yeah, we used, to, we used to have a board for those. Oh, here's King of Tokyo. Okay. A new board game called Septima. Ooh. Competitive, highly interactive strategy game of witchcraft. I haven't played it yet. Though. What's the shuffle one that I like? The one with all the the, the deck building game that's got. Um. Uh, smash, smash, up. smash up. Smash up. Smash up is super fun. Smash up is cute. Um. Yeah, Chinese checkers. We used to play a card game called Garbage, which was a mashup of three card games that I can't even remember now. Oh yeah. We played up the river a lot in college, but made it a drinking game too. Oh my god! Oh, okay. So you know what? You're the, probably the first person yes, I've ever. Yeah. yeah, you're probably the first person I've ever encountered that actually knows what that is. Yeah, I've never heard anybody else. Oh, I've, I've never heard of big in our family. I've never heard of anybody outside of my family who knew what the fuck it was. Are you by chance a Vancouver? Like, come on. Yeah. That's funny. I've, I've never, never in my life. I've never heard of anybody, else anybody who's it. ever heard of the game. Yeah. Ever. It'd be fun if we could figure out a way to do a, a board game like live stream, like a card or board game live stream. That would be cool. I don't know how you would mechanically do something like that. But that'd be really cool. Quarters? Is that where you try and get them into the cup? Don't break the... I've heard of that one. 45. 45? KY for the win? Oh, that sounds like a... <laughs> we played up the... Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. Um, Yeah, I feel like... Well, you even taught me to play cribbage. Yeah, we have a cribbage board. We have a cribbage board kicking cribbage. around somewhere. Yeah, we do. I know exactly where it is. Yeah, beer like beer pong maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my no, god. No, with quarters, you 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 try and throw. The yeah, coin. same idea. We right? play, we were playing that the one time where you're trying to you know you get you get it in the glass and then the other person has to take a drink or whatever and we're like ting. We were using glass glasses. Ting 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 smash. Oops. <laughs> it was like oopies. Oops. Oops everywhere. Do you get competitive? No, Peggy and I like cooperative we, games. Yeah, and have, like most, in fact, I would say ninety percent of our games, um, Smash Up is competitive technically. Most Smash of our other games are. We don't take it seriously. Almost all of our other games, like our board our, games, are cooperative games. We love cooperative games. I've got a Harry Potter one that's really fun. Yeah. We have a um a Marvel Whereas one that's you fun. Again, yeah, it's like you against the game. You against the game. And I love fun. those kinds of games. Those are my favorite. And I had I had the card. Okay, oh, I remember game. Crazy Eights. Yeah. Barely remember Crazy Eights. Pictionary's but... fun too. Yeah. yeah, Life. Remember Life? Yeah, definitely Life. Yeah, I've got that unicorn, the baby unicorn game. That's what we should do. We should. That one's competitive. We should get. We should get one of the cooperative games up. Yeah. Get a cooperative game going, right? Yeah. And then go live, and then you guys can help us pick our moves. Well, that'd be fun. Would that'd probably take us forever to make we a single a move. We could actually set up a camera to point down at the tabletop. Yeah. That'd pandemic uh yeah you still have it? i let it go because associations but i played a ton of pandemic yeah we played that for a long we time we played a ton of it but i did let it go o i think old I maid and goldfish i remember those games i might have kept my classic pandemic i think you still have I, one version i, I had like three different versions of pandemic and i got rid of all but the one pand pandemic is you against the game that's also cooperative yeah yeah absolutely. we love for, we love love games like that not okay my my background my background was so fucking competitive that even games of chance, my yeah. dad would be sitting there bitching. 
he would bitch that you weren't playing the game right. But then if you ended up winning, he would bitch that you shouldn't have won. He was a he was a poor loser. I don't like a, playing with people like that. My, so. my dad was a poor loser and a poor winner. Yeah, that's the worst. Um, um, Moira, we, so I just lost interest in all competitive. Peggy games. and I created role playing the tarot, mostly Peggy. That was like an online thing. But I think you might be referring to Queens of Fate, which is a solitaire game. I didn't create that, but I did sort of revive it. There was like a somebody created it, and then I made a video about it, yeah. and that got some traction. But yeah. Oh, I remember Yahtzee. Okay, so I have feelings. And their ripoff version called Kismet. I have feelings about Disney Dreamlight Valley. I have been enjoying it. Um, I've been on the beta release or whatever. But my thing is that it was going to eventually go free to play, and they've changed that. Yeah, it, just it was annoyed to, me. It was supposed was to like, be free. Uh, it was supposed to be a free game. Eventually. Like, I paid for it so I could be well, a beta. it was supposed to be a free game with microtransactions, and now it's a, it's a paid, paid game with, with microtransactions. microtransactions. Yeah, it just feels a little money grabby. But it is fun. I found that it started to get a little boring for me over time. But oh, yeah, Danny, it is, is fun. Danny's is Danny live right now? Oh yes, I bet it's her member live. Yeah, ah, that's great. She well, probably got her fun. readings. Have fun, we'll yeah, see fun. you. Later. Have fun. I'll probably pop in and wine for a reading later. <laughs> uh, anyway, we should do that. We should get because we've got what we've got. We've got three cam. Well, um, that camera only goes for thirty minutes at a time. We could set up my regular camera and then just use the webcam to look at us. We or whatever. Do that. Maybe that. Maybe that's what we'll do on the twenty third. Maybe we'll do That'd our. Fun. Maybe we'll do our shenanigans live on the twenty third, um, and do it so that and if we can if we can pick an easy enough game, then we can act also like okay guys, what should I do next? And and let everybody play Wait. a part. Everybody weigh in on what the next moves are going to be and That'd see be if fun. we can collectively shift Night show candy. our way through winning a game. Yeah, that would be of fun. anything. Hey, love. Lay down. One defiant scruff. Yeah, it's like, I'm not done yet. She's like, I'll lay down when I'm good and ready. she lay down. She's got to go to the vet tomorrow. They both do. Yeah. Hey. Bruno's got something going on with his one ear. Yeah. Ha. We don't know what's going on there. We have no idea. He's a well. He th he's ten Shayla, and she's ten. twelve. So. Good lord, Kayla. Lay down. Lay down, please. Lay down. He's ten and she's twelve. The idea Lay that down. they're not going to the vet once or twice a year would be strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they're, they're they're mostly doing really good. Yeah, no, he well, they're both doing really good. Oh, <laughs> welcome, little oh, cards. Welcome to the unicorn, babe. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So what else we got going on? We're bitching about Christmas stuff. There it is, like dancing in a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what else do we have going on? I'm just working, working all the time, Work, yeah. writing, editing, writing, laying, laying things out, learning how to do stuff. Oh my god, it's yeah. Great. But you're kind of in a you're kind of in a lull. My lull just ended. I just got uh, my I just got my edited guidebook back. I thought you weren't getting that back for a few more weeks. Yeah, my editor was amazing and very fast and very quick. <laughs> um, Citadels might be a good group game. It's pretty easy and moves pretty fast. I don't have that one. I'll just see what I have. I've got a pretty we'll good collection, so I'll we'll dig through. I'll dig through. We'll find something fun. That'll be fun. So we'll do we'll do a holiday live stream on the twenty third, and hang out with y'all. No promises as to whether we're gonna do any lives after that until probably not. We're probably just gonna do the Saturday the twenty third, and then I don't know. It. I think we might gonna, do a new year. We're gonna I, I, if everything goes according to plan. We're gonna have a couple of really nice, quiet, mellow days. We might come on and do readings or something. That might oh, be, that'd fun. be fun. Yeah, we haven't done that. Yeah, we I'll do, do some that readings. The... I'll do some new yeah, year's readings. Oh, that would be together. like that would be a massive. Show I should though. also plan a troubleshooting the tarot because I haven't done one of those in ages. So maybe I'll do one of those in December too. But anyway, anyways, I want to do a board game though. I want I want to do either a board game or a card game or a something game where we can see if we can collectively win the game. Go for broke. That's the one. Go oh, for broke. I loved that game. I need to. I feel like I, that sounds so Go familiar. For broke. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. It's oh. hilarious. I feel like I did play. Oh, I remember this game. Yeah, 1951. Oh my god. The game came out in 1951. Go for broke game. Oh yeah, I haven't done any tower take. I yeah, I I started my own little baby baby tarot channel just to see what would happen. And so I'm doing stuff. I'm not really doing a lot over there because I remember this game. The yeah. only thing that anybody's interested in is love readings when you when you have a tarot reading channel. Yeah. So I'm not sure that I'm going to continue with that. She channel, might but come, I might do tarot takeovers again. Yeah, she might come over to my channel and do some readings occasionally, so she can still read the read the cards, but doesn't have yeah, to. Yeah, like, I want to I want to read the cards, but yeah, yeah, every 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 bit of I I started and it's just a baby channel that's going to stay a baby channel. But I started yeah. doing that over there, which has been fun. But the only thing, it's like, uh, oh, more lovely love readings. What a love reading. What is this person, my twin flame? And it's like, I don't want to do that. 
I know I had a whole readings channel for a while and I yeah you tried the same thing I think I also just got like I don't know I like I like doing I don't the live. Wanna, I, yeah I don't want to criticize people looking for no, readings and romance and things wrong with like that. that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that but I I want practice I I don't know what I, I don't also, know what the fuck I want on a day to day basis I think you like it for casual fun times too, casual though. fun times I think yeah. turning it into a whole channel is probably just a little much I think or, I, yeah I think yeah. you know what I wanted to try it and see what it felt like I tried it I know what it feels like yeah, I'm, you're I, good. I, well, I mean, I I liked, I yeah, enjoyed it. You didn't have a bad time. I enjoyed it. I'm still enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, didn't have a bad time, but it's mm -hmm. like, eh, I've got I've got other things I'd rather be doing. And that's yeah. the thing. It's like a time prioritization type thing. Oh yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the takeovers that would be fun. Yeah, I could do a takeover. It would be fun. Oh wait, y'all, I forgot. I can do the thing. Hold on, can I can I do the thing? Let me see. Oh, Marlena went live. When did you go live, Marlena? Are you still here? Um. She was here. Well, she's probably live now. Or she might be on Danny's live. Oh, that's um, aha, can I do this? What'd you do? I'm just checking something. Okay, I gotta look up some stuff later. There's a way for me to do oh, okay. stuff, but I've gotta look it up. It, it's all very confusing. That is why I stopped reading for the public. Too many people just wanna love reading. I did dread at a couple events, or I did read, excuse me, yeah, at yeah. a couple events in October. I love doing those kinds of readings, but, but like, yeah, it wasn't giving me the practice I need. Yeah, it's like limited, right? What yeah. you're gonna. But I mean, then again, I missed it. Darn it. Then again, I, you know, it's a small, it's a small channel, so going, it's a small channel, so going live when I have the time for it, which I never have the time for it. Anymore, That's the biggest problem. The problem. I, have, time. I, 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 I went live yeah. on that channel a few times. I don't think I've been live on that channel for almost three months now. Yeah. I just haven't had the time for it. And when I have had the time, there's other things that needed to be done first. That's very true. More priorities. So it's like, okay. Mm. But, but going live on a smaller channel is nice because it, lots of time, more, way more relaxed. Mm-hmm. Uh, question for the pro readers: What's the weirdest thing you've been asked by a client? I don't know. I can't think of it. I can't think of anything. I've never like, done enough of anything to have even the chance. I've had of going some that. really unique questions. None that I would feel comfortable repeating, but nothing that's like super out there. Like, yeah, it's always felt contextually appropriate for the situation, if that makes sense. So even the questions that seem like they take you far afield, as long as it feels relevant to the question, they just don't seem odd in that context. Like, so yeah, I can't think of anything real specific. Oh, happy birthday, Tammy. She's saying happy. Oh, and happy birthday. And happy birthday, and thank you. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, yeah. My birthday is in like 11 days. Yeah. Are, Are we doing anything for my birthday? Yeah. Do decide. we give a shit? Yes, we give a shit. Vote for Hot Pot. Okay. Yeah. We've decided on my birthday gift. That was easy. You do Hot Pot or Korean barbecue. What do you want to do more? Mm. Hot Pot? Little sheet? Little sheet? I don't know. We can go to a new hot pot place too. We can figure it out. There is like there are there are enough restaurants, and don't forget, like enough once you know restaurants don't last. So a lot of restaurants don't last. You could go to a different restaurant every meal every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. In this area, and not go to the same restaurant twice. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Because like true. like like by the time there's even a chance of starting to repeat, some of those restaurants have closed, and new restaurants have shown up in their place. True. Yeah, that's true, true, it's, true, true, true. It's foodie paradise out here. That's why we're fat. Uh, I haven't had any weird questions, little but sheep, I have yeah, had, I love little sheep. I have had clients overshare information not important to the reader. Yeah. Yeah, I've had that too. I, in person, it's more likely to become a... I've sometimes sat down with clients who we spend two-thirds of the time just they want to talk and like one-third of the time or less pulling cards. Because sometimes people just want to like unload their stuff. You know, I think sometimes that's kind of the role is just to be a listener. They say yeah, the Michelle. same thing about San Francisco's yeah. restaurants. Yeah, there's I, so much. I would assume. Yeah, I would Peggy. assume San Francisco, New York, any large city, Toronto. Yep, Peggy is a Sagittarius. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius. Yes. We're both Libra rising, and I'm a Gemini moon, and I forget your moon. Um, uh, Aries moon. I, have, I, I know Aries nothing moon. about any of that stuff. If I remember correctly. I know nothing about it. Yep. Or thanks for the early birthday wishes. Here, a food chain testing city. A bit sad to say. Oh, uh, well. That's, well, I don't know. At least you have the opportunity for variety. <laughs> I cannot stop yawning today. Um, I'm canceling my husband. I'm canceling my husband. Is that <laughs> <laughs> I'm cancer. Oh, you understand. You feel my pain. Yeah. I feel so understood in this moment. Yeah. Oversharing, oversharing. I've had people overshare with me just because they're talking to me. I don't know why. 
Yeah. Oh. It's like, hi, how you doing? I was like, oh, hi, let me overshare some stuff. Yeah, I'm checking right now. I'm pretty sure you're Aries Moon. I'm going to double check. I think any tarot geek says even Eugene has so many restaurants. I don't think I could ever go to them all. I'll tell you right now is like the world is so much more crowded than it was 20, 30, 40 years ago. I'm pretty sure any decently sized city or in our you know mega city area like that, I'm pretty sure any decently sized urban area is going to have the exact same thing. Yeah, you are Aries moon. I'm an Aries right. moon. And your Venus. That is explains that explains the that explains me being so mean. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and your 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 Venus is in Scorpio. My Venus is in Gemini. And my moon is Gemini. I've got a lot. Of, I've got a and my actually oh, my Venus and my moon. No, my moon and my Jupiter are right on literally right on top of each other. The exact same degree in Gemini. And my Venus is also in Gemini. I've got a lot of Gemini, which nobody's going to be surprised to hear. What's Gemini and what's um, that supposed to be? It can be a little bit distractible. Oh, yeah. Um, it can be that whole. It. It's the crazy. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I don't know enough about astrology to answer all those questions. Um, yeah. Anyways. Yeah. There's so many restaurants. We got to try a lot of new types of food living in the Vancouver area. Cause we moved in here to get, like we moved to this area together. Yeah. We both, yeah. We, neither one of us had lived in this area before I got to try foods that I didn't even know existed, which was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We had, we had, we had a lot of things for the first time together too. Like we had mm -hmm. Ethiopian for the first time. Ethiopian. Together. Yeah. Ethiopian is really good, but you've got to really be careful to say not spicy. Yeah. Yeah. If you are in, if you are into burn your face, <sighs> spicy food, then you go to Ethiopian. But it's also so flavorful. Like as long as you, yeah. yeah, it's lots of flavor, but it's so good. Lots of yeah. And it I, does go spicy. And and you want the injera. Well, I, I don't even know if you can get Ethiopian without injera. I guess you could ask for it without. No, no, no. The 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 one that comes on That's everything. how they they almost all come. Yeah. Yeah. No, you can go in and just order regular food. That is the regular. No, food I'm sorry. Thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A regular, like, just like a bowl, a regular thing. plated meal. Yeah. But even the plated meals, I believe, you get injera on the side. Yeah, you get injera on the side. But yeah, you get the plates that have the. the, uh, the it's like a. It's like a really soft, spongy, almost like the top layer of a crumpet, really soft. A soft crumpet soaks up yeah. all, the, and then the food in piles on top of it, and you get rolled up injera on the side, and you like yeah. scoop up bits of the food with the injera. Yeah, oh, Thai can be insanely spicy oh, too. It's so good. But I'll tell you right now, if you are Thai, if you if you are Ethiopian, try Thai food. If you are Thai, try Ethiopian food. If you are from a culture, if you are Indian, yeah, because the spicy if you are, is different. It, it's kind of it's kind of hard to describe. Yeah. If you are from a culture that's really really into spicy food, then you want to find out who else has that reputation and try each other's food because you've got yeah, you guys all fall different. in love with each other. It's true. It and the true. rest of us who can't handle spice are going to be the back of the side going, I'm in fucking awe. We are those people but, though that go in and we're like. We're a little, we like a little spicy, but we're a little bit wimpy. And like, what do you we're, recommend? We're okay. 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 We are in a very, very accommodating and True. accepting area with yeah. a lot. I mean, a shit ton of cultures here. Yeah. So you can walk in almost anywhere and go, what do you have that is more and the European? Funny thing is, yeah. Or like, what's, what's, what, what what's is not Western? Going to, we would literally said what Western, is, Western or European is the polite way to say, I don't want spice. In mostly we just say what well, is not going to kill us. Um, actually, yeah, you just ask a lot of, the funny thing about Ethiopian is the meat dishes are the spiciest. So we got a vegetarian platter and it was so stinking good. It had, yeah. it had a lot of heat, but it also had like cooler things, like some cheeses, almost like a cottage cheese type thing. Um, it had some tofu type thing. Yeah. We haven't been, we haven't oh, been to, we haven't been, been to years, Ethiopia in a years while. Years. Yeah, the, the Ethiopian food is way further into it's, Vancouver it's than we have. further away than we go. Yeah. Most of the time. But yeah. Yeah. It's, but it's very, it's very easy. To, it's very. Yeah. Yeah, horseradish hot versus chili hot and different yeah. kinds of chili. What is with, by the way, the trend lately? Everybody's doing like hotter and hotter things. Like there's, you can oh, get ghost, wow. you can get ghost pe pepper nuggets at like Wendy's now. Yeah, or whatever, yeah or Wendy's. Wendy's, Wendy's one, of, those, one, of, our, one of our fast food chains up here has ghost pepper nuggets. Yeah. Habanero sauce on everything. Yeah, I don't know why everything's so, it seems like the trend right now is for really spicy stuff. Like spicy. Yeah. I, I tried authentic kimchi once and was asked how I liked it. My response was, how can I tell through this mouth full of burned flesh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Authentic, yeah. The we, flavoring kimchi is so good, but when it's, when it's real spicy, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, we, we, we have a really good time here. Like I said, everybody is so accommodating that nobody's like really embarrassed to say, okay, you guys aren't spicy enough for me. I want more. Yeah. Or, Dude, I'm, I'm like, look at me. I'm not going to handle the spice. What can you, you know, and everybody's super, it's, it's, 
it's an amazing food scene out here. And yeah, with, 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 yeah, just very, yeah. If you don't like spice, here's the problem too. Sometimes if you go to a, if you have a type of cuisine that's traditionally spicy and you ask for it without heat, it's like, they don't add other flavors. So it's like you end up with bland food, not just mild food. Well, they don't do that, that here. Well, I've had that like, happen. No, no, you're getting some spice. No, 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 no. Where I, was, I was referring to Holly says, I don't like spice heat and it's everywhere. Especially yeah. vegetarian dishes. And I was just saying that sometimes if you ask for no spice, you get bland instead. Yeah. You don't get like just mild, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Korean, Vietnamese, and Thai are comfort foods for me. Yeah. Korean I, barbecue is my comfort food. Oh, pho. I love I love pho. I That's love what Fairlight is. That said. and the that and lemongrass pork chop. Oh. Mm. And those spring rolls, the the Vietnamese. Korean I love Korean rolls. Korean barbecue, I really, really like. And I yeah. love bibimbap. I love bibimbap. Oh, I'm sorry, Louisiana. I hope it gets better. Oh. That sucks. Peggy and I both had our gallbladders out when we were like, yeah, just we were still, we were, still, we weren't we, even married. We had, I don't think we hadn't even met in person for the first. Oh time. yeah, we hadn't met in person for the first yeah, time. Yeah, she got. I I found out I had I found out I had gallstones, and it was like, okay, you need. I wasn't having too many problems. I found out because they were looking for something else. Yeah. Um, it's like nice okay, so it turns out you got some gallstones. We do need to take care of that. Okay. And then a few days later, she's like, oh, I was in the ER for a gallstone attack. So she has hers out. Then I have mine out. Yep. But, but within like a month of each other, like it was so close. But I will tell you right now, if you're going to get your gallbladder out, follow their instructions on no fat for at least the first six months. Yeah, it helps a lot. It helps a lot. Gets you through yeah. the worst of it. Or lower yeah, fat. Yeah, avoid grease. So yeah. good. We've got like, we've got so many. We've, we're within walking distance of like three different places. There's one at the mall. I love but one we don't just get down the very street. often. We don't get it very often. I want to go get some pho. Yeah, I want pho for dinner. I want, yeah, I want, I want that. Yeah. And Vietnamese spring rolls. Mm. They, I like both kinds, Vietnamese the crispy ones rolls, and the salad ones. Vietnamese crispy spring rolls are the best thing on the planet. They're so good. They're amazing. And the vinegary stuff, they give you to dip in them. My son and his mm, friend used to so go to the good. one place near their school and order like 10 at a time and just eat them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we yeah. made everybody hungry. We made <laughs> everybody see. hungry. Yeah, we'll see y'all live again in a couple weeks for sure. Yeah, just I'm, had a big full pasta now. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry now. I want to go eat. That's the problem. Is that that's the problem? Is that we had snacks but no actual lunch. I had a lunch. Oh, that was too bad. You didn't have a lunch. So now we got to what's everybody, what's everybody's favorite? Okay, I want one last question before we go. Though, what's everybody's favorite dish? But the rule is your favorite dish that by looking at you people would assume wouldn't be of interest to you oh okay huh. i mean you look at you look at us and it's like okay two white canadian girls are not going to be they're not going to get excited over korean barbecue and it's like oh my god that's one of my favorite things in the whole wide world one of my favorite things is a ribeye steak but that's, that's that's i can give that one you don't can't tell me what my answer can be people wouldn't necessarily know i love a ribeye steak looking at me Tell yours. I just said Korean barbecue is one of my favorites. So it's hot there pot. There you go. Um, taro cakes. Actually, Ooh, I also really like mochi. Actually, yeah. Mochi's good. Yeah. Um, oh, black sesame balls. Yeah, like, taro cakes are nice. Mm -hmm, black sesame balls. Ooh, or those those radish things at Dim Sum. <laughs> the radish cake at Dim Sum. That's really good, too. Oh, yeah. That's really good. I really yeah, like that. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I'm literally sitting here eating cookies while while y'all talk about food. I know, right? That's pretty oh, much tamales. what I'm doing. I love homemade tamales. I'm gonna be so hungry. Oh, tamale. I like tamales. They're yeah. not one of my favorite, but I like tamales. Yeah, but was my I don't like food. egg foo young. It's nice. Shh, but... Indigo, hush. Is my makeup wearing off? Shush. Ooh, egg foo young. Ooh, Taiwanese pineapple cakes. We just saw those in the store like the other day. Yeah, they're like oh, they're out in force with those things right now. John likes those. I cannot with the sea seaweed snacks. I'm not, yeah, I'm not fun. Uh, burritos. You know what? It's always okay. weird enough to count. It's, it's weird enough to count. It's weird enough to count, especially if it's yeah. like, I don't, I don't know. You know what? Nowadays we are so. <laughs> Magical Monday Tower. I love black bean burgers, but I'm not vegetarian. So it throws people off when I add bacon and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For you sure. know what? This, this, this was probably a more appropriate question, say 20 to 30 years ago when we, when we were absolutely lacking in variety in North America. Well, you especially in like Southern Ontario, you'd had nothing. Peggy hadn't had sushi. She hadn't had Japanese. She hadn't had Thai. She hadn't had any of that. Stuff. Any of it. Any of that. Stuff. So it was if all I, new. If, if I were to go, if I were to be, Vietnamese. if I were to go back to my hometown and talk to the people that I grew up around, saying, "Oh yeah, blah blah blah, sushi. I like sushi. I like yeah. sushi a lot." People would just look at me and go, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" What's menamen? Menamen? What is that? Menamen. Men men men. 
don't know what that but is. But I do think I, th Bubble I, tea. I do think even in smaller towns are much more open in terms of culinary adventurousness mm -hmm. now. So maybe it's, it's, it's maybe it's a crappy maybe it's a crappy question that to be asking because that's a, no cra crappy. That's a, that's a, no, 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 it's never it's not a it's not a it's not a question asked in bad faith. Yeah, but it's probably a question that would have been better thirty years ago when we had way less variety. Yeah, in most places. In Venice, Italy, we had our first Chinese restaurant only in 1988. 1988, yeah. I don't understand. Nina, Nina, man, do, do, do. I don't understand what you're saying. What are you guys saying? Yeah, my favorite food that's um, that's Turkish swept on is Filipino food. food. My ex was Filipino and taught me all his family recipes. See, oh, that's the thing, that. right? Yeah. Um, but that coming out, coming out here, coming out here, and really coming out here and really diving into Asian food of all varieties. When you're yeah. from an area, when you. Like the only like, like we had Chinese restaurants where we came from, but it's not <laughs> yeah. the same. Moira it's says, not the same. Small townie here, we have squat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Peggy's most ethnic restaurant was a mall style Chinese food. I say mall style. It was a proper restaurant, but it was like the food in it was like the same stuff you find oh, in food court. You know, no, no, no the food court was better. The food uh, court here Chinese, are better. Chinese food here from the from the mall food courts is better than the Chinese food that I was able to get where I come from. Yeah. Like we thought, we thought getting an Olive Garden was a massive, massive improvement. The, the fancy place we went for our engagement dinner was Eastside Mario's, which was yeah. like, yeah, think Spaghetti Factory. <laughs> like it's like that. Yeah, Millie says I'm from Kentucky. We've come a long way in the last decade, but a long way to go. Okay, hey, wait, wait. Mina Men is a Ooh, Turkish wait, egg wait. with chili tomato. Mina and Men herbs. is a Turkish. Egg. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds good. I'm gonna have to look it up now. Mina Men. Mina Men. I lived in I Toronto, want then Ottawa, now Squat. Yeah, so I always, I always ask this question while keeping in mind where I came oh, from good. and the absolute lack of diversity. Yeah. Period and stop where True. I came from. And I can I can probably fairly guess right now that there's still shit for diversity back back where I come from. Probably, yeah. But yeah, yeah it's a, it's a silly question to ask of anybody who lives in a more urban center. So I've heard about it. It's a Shatsuka. fun question though. It is a fun question. We should probably go get some food ourselves. Shakshuka. Probably. Shakshuka, I'll show you a picture. So this is Where's the Mina Men. That's the scrambled oh, egg dish. Oh, okay, okay, I've seen Shak that. Shakshuka is here. So it's also a made with eggs that are generally poached in a simmering mixture of tomatoes, bell peppers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're very, very similar, but one's more like a scrambled egg, and the other one's more of a poached more egg. tomato based. Yeah, it's like they're more, both tomato based. Yeah. What is the question? Basically, just foods people wouldn't necessarily assume you would like, or that like are out of the box for you. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Basically, I guess the question's only I guess the question only makes a lot of sense if your main if your main circle of friends and family are people from areas where there's not a lot of like, culinary diversity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, if I were if I were to go visit my hometown and tell people how much I like sushi, they would look at me like I was crazy. What's wrong with you? Like, actually, why would you eat that? The only way I got Peggy to sushi initially to even try was like there's cooked options. Yeah, like, I don't like options. I don't like the raw options. But you tried quite a few of them. Like my, you didn't just like decide you don't. Oh like yeah, it. Like, I tried. You tried a, it. I tried a bunch yeah. of it. Yeah, my favorite and Peggy's favorite. Well, I shouldn't say it's your favorite. My favorite is Osho or seared sushi. Yeah, I um, sushi. So good. Lunasa says, I live in Toronto. I find it weird how I eat at a restaurant alone without being treated badly. That's the surprising thing about even Toronto life and food to me. Yeah. yeah we have a lot of people. We have a lot of that here where people, somebody will just go in, get their food, sit down. Yeah. And it's not, a bit, it's lots of solo dining. Lots of, yeah. yeah. Not, it's pretty common out here. I've yeah. had many kinds of food, all different ethnic restaurants. I love all sushi. Yeah. yeah. Our favorite place, when we first moved out here, there was this fantastic little place. You could get hot pot and sushi at the oh, same place. Oh, in Richmond, yeah. And it was all you can eat. And the fabulous thing about that. Oh, that, great place to take two growing boys. Oh, my God. It was the best. But one of my favorite things was that was the first place I ever had black cod. It is now my one of my favorite things yeah. of all time. It soy, like soy marinated, yeah. miso marinated, miso. black cod. Holy crap. What's it? Sablefish is the other name for black cod. Ooh, lentils, rice, and onion. That's so, good. so good. Melt in yeah. your mouth if you like some I think, food. Oh, my God. It's yeah, so it's funny, though, because any of us who are older, thinking back to what it was like to get to try new foods back when I was in my 30s, was a, which, like I said, was probably, it was probably a pointless question since if right you live anywhere near an urban area, you're probably going to have a lot more food experiences. But, yeah. That sushi hot pot, pot all you can eat, it went out of business. We were so sad. I was like, yeah, are they yeah. closed for whatever reason? I, mean, I thought they were still open. No, they're gone. Oh no! Is it the Richmond one? They might still yeah, be there. Yeah, the Richmond might still be there. There was one in New West we went to too. 
Yeah. Yeah. It was well, so the one good. in New West closed down. The and they West had closed. the most amazing um, black um, cod. No, they had um, prawn bombs. Oh, those were good. Those were, they were amazing. They were like deep fried. Deep fried. A little bit spicy, but they had yeah. sweet chili spice. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh they my were God. amazing. Those were so good. That was they the black amazing. cod place, too. Oh, so good. We have several. Mm -hmm. there, there's also a place downtown in, in Vancouver. We, uh, we, have, we have such a food scene here. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, as a solo diner, they're always trying to push me into the bar. They give me oh, such bad. Oh, that's lame. Well, that sucks. That's stupid. We see lots of solo dining out here. Yeah, we see. Yeah, I don't not... know how they're treated though. To be fair, because I don't do a lot of solo um, dining myself, but I assume it's. I mean, it looks very normalized out here, so I don't know. It's very normal. Probably because we have a high student population. Like well, we huge have, we have, population. we have, a, we have a high student and have, young people. We have a high, people. we have a high student population, and it's very normalized. Like, like Sri Lankan. We bad. see that. We see that most often yeah. in Asian restaurants. So let's look this up. Sri Lankan body. body. What is it? Are these donuts? Ooh. They kind of look like donuts. No, they're not donuts because they're they're savory. They're a savory donut. They look like savory donuts, like legitimately. They look good. They look good. How to make ulundu vadai? I don't know if that's yeah. Top Sri Lanka. It literally looks like savory donuts. Yeah, yep, that's what she said. Savory donuts. Looks really good. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, Millie says, we finally have a hot place, pot place here. It's been seven years. We've only ever had one at a time. It's a favorite of mine, partly because I've had it in Taiwan, and it's amazing for vegetarians. Yeah, yeah. there's such a good variety. Yeah, hot pot's great for vegetarians because you just order the vegetable platter. We have we have the one here. <gasps> Let me say, okay, we need to we need to show a picture. Hold on, I'm going to find a video, and I will share it. Okay, let's see. Oh, hot um, pot? Hot pot. Um, let's just do this hot pot. No, I'm just going to figure out how to make little... hot pot at home. I'm just going to show you what hot pot looks like. Um, there's hot That's pot. a good example. Would you pick hot pot or cream barbecue? This, this shows both. There's both. I want to show somebody. Well, there's, there's, that's right there. That one? Yeah, sure. Taking my Korean uh, barbecue bo grandma to eat hot pot for the first time. Okay, let's. Hot pot is basic. Hot pot is soup. Yeah. I'm going to play this. I don't think it'll have sound. I don't think, but let me Make just sure share it. Doesn't. It won't hurt anything if it does. Um, there we go. This should. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, I, oh, that, go down one. That's that was better. actually a good one. That's a better one. This is how hot pot works. Um, so they bring you. A oh wait, wait, wait! It's not on the screen yet. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot to they, put they it here. You, they bring you a pot of broth, and you have a heating unit at your table. Yep. And then you add, they they the the they, you add whatever you order your meat, you order your vegetables, or they bring you a selection. Yeah. And then you just add it in and cook it to your own preferences. And the meat is like super thin sliced. Yeah. Oh, that's, I don't know what that is. But. Well, that's the that's something else that comes after. So it's just, it's just a pot of broth. Sometimes there's two like this with spicy side and a regular side. Yep. And you just put your, you just put your meats and your vegetables in, let them, yeah. let them soak in as much as you want. Yeah. It's a family style eating thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Millie says, I love that everyone can have their own pot choices at a lot of places. Yeah. Family style. Yeah. We went, to a couple, we went to a couple places like that and they were a lot of fun. Hot pot is so much fun. And what I like about it is being able to put things in and fish them out a little bit at a time. Like you don't have to eat this big bowl of stuff. You like. Yeah, she's eating glass noodle. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, if you ever want to find out how hot pot works, yeah, then you get a an electric fry pan, yeah, or an electric pot. Any anything that's gonna, any, you know, or you just commit to standing around your stove. Yeah, get a pot of get a pot of broth going at a simmer, right, at, at, slightly above a slimmer simmer, and then you have cut up meats. These are these meats are cut up. They're cut up thin. They're thin cut meats so that they will cook really, really quickly. Yeah. So then you have thin cut meats, vegetables in whatever size that makes sense to you. And then everybody just puts in what they want, takes out, it takes it out when it's done. And it's just every it's just basically this is Korean and you barbecue. Up with some really cool flavors. And you just put lots and lots of Asian type spices and whatnot on yep. your food. Korean barbecue is similar. You have like a grill at your table. Did she even cook that? She, okay. she didn't cook it. I'm like, what are you doing? She's going to spit it out in a second because she's doing it for... For clicks? She's doing it for clicks. Okay. Well, that's not... Okay, she's being dumb. Let's yeah. just find somebody else who's doing anyway. Korean barbecue. Our Korean place has hot pot or you can order dishes from their menu. Yeah. Yeah. If you... Yeah. And... Yeah. Like, but it's really cool because there's, an heat, there's a heating element in the middle of the table. Yeah. So that everything can stay simmering. They are so much fun. The one, the one that we have, we have a hot pot place right now, and they have an entire it's wall. Not play. It's self serve. You just go get what you want, bring it back to your table, cook it, eat it, and you can have pot. You can have the, you, they'll usually give you um, some side you dishes. Go. You get all kinds of sauces ready to dip your stuff in as you cook it. Yeah, 
it works the same for um, barbecue or hot pot. Yeah, I yeah. really like seeing people actually try hot, like hot pot or yeah. Korean barbecue for the first time. And Millie says in Taiwan, Millie says in Taiwan, I rank my favorite places by the broth base. It matters for the flavor. It absolutely matters. And a lot of yeah. places you can choose your base. Like it can be a spicy yeah. base or whatever base. We actually, we actually have soup base. But we actually have hot pot soup base in envelopes in the cupboard. Yeah. So that whenever we want hot pot but don't want to go out, we just yeah throw in the electric fry pan with a bunch of water and make our own hot pot. We got to do that again soon too. Oh my god, this stuff is making me hungry. Oh, I got asked by was it Michelle? Michelle asked me about um, a hot pot. Wait, wait, wait. like vegetables and gravy with mashed potatoes baked in the oven. <laughs> yeah. Michelle asked about Tim Hortons. Is it as good as everyone says? Okay, Tim Hortons. Not is, okay, you're not the one being asked. See, Canadian transplant. You're not a Canadian transplant. I'm You've Canadian. been here your whole life. The whole. Never mind. Anyways, my opinion. <laughs> I think. Um, I think Tim Hortons is really strong coffee, but it does taste okay. It's it's just it's a Canadian like tradition. The donuts are pretty good, although they call donut holes Timbits. Yeah. So Timbits or donut holes, those are good. It's it's they like a Dunkin' Donuts style shop, but it's they used Canadian. to be more about the coffee and the donuts, and they used to have a much bigger variety of donuts on hand. Now now that now they're doing muffins, bagels, sandwiches, yeah. they have a much bigger variety of stuff. They did. Yeah, Tim Moira says Tim's Tim was, was the, the best. best. Uh -huh. Um, their coffee is I could never have their coffee after a certain time at night. I don't I don't want to call it an anxiety attack because it was this low grade thing, but their coffee is so freaking strong that if I had coffee past a certain time at night, I would be up like just not sleeping until like four or five in the morning. Yeah. I already have insomnia. So but if I had their coffee, I'd be guaranteed a major insomnia attack. Yeah. And not sleeping. Yeah. Elf says, how do you how do you tell your face shape? I don't I don't really know. I still don't know just what mine is. You can go look it up online. You can um, honestly when it comes to makeup, I would just say experiment with what looks nice on you, what makes you feel confident. If you're just playing around, like just see what looks right. And I don't really worry about the face shape thing, honestly. I just literally just experiment until I find what I like. Yeah, it's up. gotten too big. Timmy's has? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we went yeah. we went into this, we went deep, we went we went deep into coffee culture. Like you could walk down the street and there'd be Starbucks on either side of the street, right yeah. across from each other. Tim Hortons everywhere. We got so we got so yeah. deeply immersed in coffee culture that it's just yeah. Donuts were smoky way back in the day when everyone smoked them. I'm so gross. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Um, fun fact: because of Quebec language laws, Tim Hortons just lost the possessive so that they could have stores in Quebec. So it's Tim Hortons. Oh, it's plural instead of possessive. Uh, oh, interesting. That's funny. I thought it was that strong. weird. Yeah, the French language, the French language laws also always confused me. I have no problem. What is this? Hold on. I have no problem with French, but I have a problem with mandating that one piece of the country be completely unable to communicate with everybody else. We drink Death Wish coffee. What's Death Wish coffee? Probably a brand. Look it up. No. Look it up. No. What look are Cruffins? I want to look those up. Let's look up Cruffins. Cruffins. Aren't they? Oh. What? Are these cinnamon roll muffins? Is that what they're these like, are? It looks like they're halfway between a crumpet and a muffin. No, those look like cinnamon roll muffins. They look good. Is what a they crumpet look. is a cross between a croissant and a muffin that tastes uh, like a cinnamon, cinnamon roll. roll. Well, I need these. I need this. It's made with puff pastry. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, oh. I could do that. I could do that every day, all day. We can go to the store and get the stuff. We can go to the store right tonight. now, yeah. Let me just show the rest of the class here. Hold on. We're gonna show the rest of the class. Share the Cruffins page. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna show you. Here's what they look like. Oh, let me show, let me put it on the screen because I'm terrible at that. Okay, hold on. Add to stage. Okay, these are the Cruffins, and all they are. Good, I'm good. This I'm going, is exciting. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Um, I have to close that window. Okay, all they are is puff pastry. Puff pastry, butter, cinnamon, butter sugar. cinnamon, roll it butter, up. Cinnamon sugar. What happened? What did I miss? Oh, I missed the dancing. Whatever it was, I missed it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh we have dancing. Things are happening. Um, it, I think it happened. What's what is happening? On? I don't know. Hold on. Welcome to the unicorn fam. I think these are renewals. I think, yeah. <laughs> Everybody's dancing. Okay, back here. Back here. Lots of dancing. Um, It's just puff pastry. You go buy puff pastry, you thaw it out, and you make this. And then you put it in a muffin tin? Is that yep. basically? Go yep. away. You put it in a muffin tin. Yeah, spiral it up. Oh my god, these look so freaking good. <gasps> look at that. Oh my, oh god, my god, that looks, looks so I want delicious. Some. Can I freeze them? Okay. Don't care. I need them all. Look at this ingredients. Three tubes of refrigerated crescent roll sheets. That's what they used. 
not puff pastry. Puff pastry would be better. Six tablespoons of butter, one well, cup sugar, it... one cup, one tablespoon cinnamon. Oh, can we even get crescent roll sheets up here? Um, honey, you just roll out your crescent roll dough instead of peeling them apart. You just roll it out. Oh, from the Pillsbury. So it's Pillsbury. Yeah. So three tubes of that. Three tubes of that, and then you just yeah, Peggy. The English almost destroyed French culture and language way back when Canada started. Modern Quebec will never not be petty. Their language laws are really just revenge. Oh yeah, no, I told I'm from Ontario, so I got to see some of that stuff up close. What the interesting thing about it is, though, is that a lot of issues between Canada and the rest of the country could be solved if we didn't have a language barrier getting in the way, because a lot of people in Quebec are only getting their news filtered through Babe. French media that Babe. is biased. Apple butter cruffins. And we have the same thing going in both directions, though. So, you know. Babe, apple butter cruffins. Oh. There's chocolate peppermint cruffins. Okay. This is my new favorite thing. I, I need this. We have to try them once. And this is, it's, and it's just the Pillsbury crust of those? Yeah, it literally says, okay, like it literally says, hold on, let's go back to the to the main page here. You just literally dough. I use store bought crescent roll dough that comes in sheets, no no perforations. Yeah, okay. see. But you could still use the original dough that does have perforations. Just pinch the seams together. If you want to make your own mm. dough for crepins, there are a couple of options. Um, so this is uh, this is the apple butter. But version. I'm not making my own dough. Pumpkin spice carrot cake crepins. Oh my god. I don't know about the carrot cake ones. Just posted a picture of the ones from my bakery in support of Taro. Ooh, Ooh. we gotta go look at that. What are the chocolate peppermint ones. I want to try cronuts too. What are cronuts? Basically, the, the same idea, but it's a croissant donut. Okay, this has chocolate peppermint butter. I need to know how to make chocolate peppermint butters. Chocolate chips, peppermint extract. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I want to oh try a basic God. one first and find out if I even like this. Just a cinnamon sugar one. I just want one. these. I, I just want them want too. These. Okay, you know why? Because we're hungry. We are. Well, yeah. I have. I, We've been I, talking about food for like an hour now. I have snack. I had. We talked about weather for half an hour. Food for an hour. Hickeys for twenty minutes. It's been a whole thing. You see now you're bringing yeah. up hickeys. I, I let it I'm, go. I, was, I let it go, and now you're revisiting. Shh. I was just pointing out that we've had very interesting conversations today. That's my we have lots of interesting conversations. All right. See, we even touched on French French language issues. If you deep fry them, you have beaver tails. Oh, Kilaloa sunrise if you add lemon. Oh, my God. Yeah, you just roll them out instead of separating them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Just roll them. Yeah. Okay, let's go look at this. Yeah, one. deep fry yeah. and you have a bit beaver tail. Yeah, so this is this sounds good. I like this idea. Yeah. <gasps> what go. if we took a crescent roll and rolled it and, and just took them out and then just deep fry, just fried the crescent roll without rolling it up into a crescent roll? Let's show the pictures that Holly shared. Hold on. Let me just Ooh. show these. This is what Holly shared in support of Tara. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. Oh. These look like they're made with proper crescent roll, though. You can see by how yeah. flaky they are. Yeah. See you later, Tara Geek. Yeah, we're going to close out. Yeah, this beaver chat. tail and elephant ears are the same thing. Uh, the sure. Beaver tails are Canadian. Yeah. I think the puff I pastry don't. idea would be good, too. There's though. no real difference. All right, y'all. We're going to close this one out. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> we're going to go. We got to go. But uh, I hope you have a really good rest of your day. We got to go find some food. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will be live again on the 23rd. So watch out for yeah. us then. And members, you know, we'll be live doing readings. We'll be doing you, we, Southwest okay, Saturday. We, you get to do that. You get to do that, Ryan. Don't buy your Keep I think out. who's here. Bruno heard us getting ready to say goodbye. Here he is. He's like, oh, I heard you getting ready to stop. There. Bye. Bruno says bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye.